It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock on the nose. We're actually starting on time, probably because yeah. John's not my yeah, guest tonight. I know. <laughs> I'm here on time. I'm always here on time. Oh, come on, YouTube! Don't give me any problems this week. I don't want to drop my stream back to 24 FPS. That was brutal. That was just horrible. Make sure I'm still at. Oh, dang! We gotta up that a little bit. Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. Yeah. We're kind of live, kind of live, almost there. Yeah. I'm really thinking about starting to do like an intro screen yeah. that we can put on and it'll have like us in like a small. You know, you should, you should like, do. It'll have us in like, yeah. like this frame right, right oh, okay. here. And then it'll be like craft computing and it'll do like a countdown yeah. and you can't hear us, but you can see us like goofing around. I, I think you should probably have it like in, like in the, uh, like in the nineties when you went to the, got the VHS from the store and they had the coming attractions. In oh there. yeah, there you go. You should have that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, let me fix my webcam here because I noticed that was off too. There we go. Yeah, it only made me look like I had there a gigantic forehead. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. Not an attractive angle. That's really only so I can show off the beer. Welcome to Talking hey, Heads. All right, hello. <laughs> Episode 23. I'm Jeff. I'm Steve. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, man, it has been a long week. I am exhausted. Yeah, uh, uh, a little tired. A little tired. Uh, maybe we should take shots of NyQuil then. It's gonna... There you go. <laughs> Oh, gonna, okay. gonna sleep good after this. And grind up some caffeine pills. Yeah, and there we go. There. Oh, you want some trucker's choice. Is there, that there what you're you saying? Go. You, want, you want uppers, not downers. That's right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to stay awake for oh, this Oh, okay, thing. okay. Not that you're not entertaining. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> We're just, when you pass out, we'll just entertain everybody by poking you with a stick. See, does heroin go up or down? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good show. Yeah, the lot's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to episode 23. All right, I think we finally got a stable stream. Uh, let's see, what are we drinking tonight? We got, a... uh, we got some bits and bobs, and that's not a euphemism. That's actually what the what the actually beer is called. Bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah so, it's bits and bobs. It's Reuben, right? Yeah, by Reuben's Brew, yeah. and um, it's I think they they make bits and bobs every year. Yep. But they use a different hop profile, mm -hmm. so you know every if you get bits and bobs next year, it'll be slightly yeah. different. Kind of a cool looking can on that. Yeah. Thing. So this one has a uh, strata hop. Uh, a Zucca hop and Citra hop. It's nice. got three different hops in there. Shots. Shut up, John. <laughs> <laughs> John's already bought the shots. Yeah. He's coming up with the grossest combination he can think of, and he's going like, to try to encourage people to do that. Yep. Yeah, if you're watching at work, welcome. I uh, hope you're enjoying this fine Wednesday yep. evening, or if you're in Australia, this fine Tuesday morning, or Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Went the yeah. wrong way. Yeah. Thursday morning. So uh, glad you're joining us. So, yeah, we got uh, Bits and Bobs by Ruben Brewing. And then uh, neither of us have had this one. Um, Tangerine Express. Tangerine yeah. Express by Stone. Uh, we talked about Stone on uh, Stone is usually really good. They're yeah. usually pretty solid. Um, we talked about them with their lawsuit with uh, Keystone Light. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I figured we'd have a stone on the show. An actual stone on the show. Yeah. <laughs> none, oh, of that, none of that should... Keystone crap. You should do, we should do a, uh, a malt liquor episode i thought about doing that it's where we just bring a malt liquor yeah we, we do a smirnoff and a mike's and, no 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 uh, i'm talking you, i'm you talking like, like old 40 oh yeah yeah like old english or colt 45 <laughs> oh. <laughs> get some like get that. some boons very wine yeah too. yeah yeah <laughs> mad dog 40 40 let's, let's crack a beer before all this right. gets all, <laughs> all right where are you guys from soviet russia yes <laughs> where huh? beer where beer drink you <laughs> that beer drinks you yeah with nuclear uh, vessels. Nucle nuclear Nucle vessels. Nuclear vessels. Uh, we are from Salem, Oregon. Oh, look at that. Almost zero head there. Of course, you did too. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not super carbonated. Yeah, yet. it's not. That it's, thing is it, clear. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It smells... It's kind of like got... If, if you took like Ooh. some wrestler's sweaty armpit and put a grapefruit under there it's yeah kinda... <laughs> i was trying to thank you you took the words right out of yeah. my mouth yeah it's a it's a sweaty armpit grapefruit smell it tastes good though it's got some real that's interesting it's got some real tropical notes to it i took a fairly large drink mm -hmm. the citrus is really overwhelming in it and then it's yeah. kind of hollow right at the top of it yeah it kind of it's kind of Dives off a cliff like a lemming yeah. or something like that. Just plummets. Yeah, that is... I think it's good. <laughs> yeah. 
It's it's I, not, I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, it's it's not like because it, it was advertised as like a, a juicy, you know, like a juicy. One of the, they always say like juicy IPAs because they're super popular. Because yeah, wow. Flavors. It's it's. I like it at first. I like it at first, and then I'm you, not, you I'm swallow not, it, and the flavor is just like gone. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left, mm -hmm. and then there's just like this sour, sweaty armpit aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm still not sure what I think about that. Huh. A little bit of a burnt tire at the end too. <laughs> kind of offensive. And my wife says, uh, "Stay out of her cider." I got some yeah. new cider to try. Oh, too. you do. We got some new uh, Atlas. Oh, oh, you should try. Cider. You should try my. I'm talking to your wife over there. You should try my cider. It's really good. Yeah. Didn't I bring some cider? Uh, I think I brought. Some, yeah, yeah, I yeah. got some cider. Yeah. yeah. So let's get into some beer news. Okay. So now that we're trying to dis determine whether or not this is good or not, <laughs> I don't. I still don't know. Page not found. Uh, well, what happened there? Uh, you got spam. There's, there's, there's some HTML stuck in your URL. Well, that's interesting. I don't think this is gonna yeah, be. I don't think it's gonna be it either. Let me, let me try to fix that little technical difficulty. User use error. Yeah, let me recopy that link there. Yeah, it's a PHP link. So yeah. Copy. As they're watching my head bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. there, there we, we go. go. There we go. It was on there. Yeah, it was close. I, I, I swear it was on there. Yeah. All right, just in time for Easter, everyone's favorite candy is getting brewed into a beer. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're making a Peeps flavored beer. Peep beer. What, Peeps what's really beer. funny, uh, John actually shared this article with yeah. us. When he posted it, I thought it said a Pepsi infused beer. Did you guys talk about like a, pep, a Pepsi? Uh, yeah. Was, no, that was me. Was that? Yeah, I think that was yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. They made some soju, Pepsi, yeah, which, alcoholic thing. Yeah. Which I think would be interesting. Uh, or is that Coke that's doing that? I don't know. I think it might have been Coke. Yeah, it might have been Coke. Might have been Coke. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I drink a lot in between times I'm here, so I kind of yeah, forget yeah. what happens. Yeah. Purposefully. Um, yeah, exactly. Purposefully. Yeah. Still trying to forget the uh, shot of Colvin from last <laughs> yeah. week. So yeah, just in time for Easter, Peeps are making yeah. an appearance in your local craft brewery. Actually, right. a Texas brewery is doing this. Um, I could not find the brewer's name. I, I couldn't article. either. I looked. It was. It was. It, it's. It's. Fort it's just. Area the, Brewer, it says the collective brewing, brewing project. project. That's all it says. Is all it says. Um, you know what? I didn't follow the link. Maybe that's me. Oh, but did you go? Did you go back? Actually, did you read? There's. There's another part in here that's also interesting. This is. A, this is a double story. Uh -huh. Yeah. It says this is the same brewery that made a limited run ramen, ramen flavored, flavored beer. beer. I did yes. see that. Yeah. I actually had a ramen flavored beer once. Hmm. It was. Didn't taste like ramen. It really <laughs> not, didn't taste like it at all. Actually. These sites with these autoplay ads. Well, I'm on ad blocker at the pie hole level. I'm on ad blocker on here, and I still get all playing ads. Oh, I am. Me too. I do. I do. I have. I have pie hole, and I have. I think U block or something is and, what I use. And, and look at this terrible web page design. Seriously. Is, I think that's the mobile. Uh, that might version. be the mobile. Put dub 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 in front of there. Yeah. We'll see if they auto. There we go. There we go. There we hey, go. that's better. John, why are you sharing mobile links with me? That's all he's got. Gosh. Get off your dang phone once in a while. He can't. He can't afford a real computer, so he just uses his phone. That's right. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, the beer will be called uh, Peep This Collab. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a sour. Yeah, it's gonna be a sour ale with that... a variety of small but devoted, uh, with a, oh sorry, a variety with a small but devoted following among beer snobs. Yeah. I, I Vanilla, think lemon peel, butterfly, pea flower, I, butterfly pea flower. I don't know. Yeah, it does not sound very good to me. Doesn't sound to very good. And I mean, I'm I'm not too concerned about the peeps being in there because honestly, it's just marshmallow. Yeah. And marshmallow is sugar and gelatin and cornstarch, right? Is that yeah. kind of all it is? Yeah. So I mean, sugar is we, kind we of see, a main ingredient of beer anyway. Yeah, it's top. just it's just an adjunct. It's yeah. all you're putting in there. But now you also got gelatin and cornstarch in your beer, which doesn't. Sound very good. I don't know. It'll probably just get yep. filtered out. Anyway. Town of Salem, where the real real witch burnings occur. Uh, wrong Salem. Yeah, we're, and, we're on the west coast. Witches were not burned in Salem. They were hung. They were hung. They That's were right. not burned. Yep. Get it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, John says it was because he was on his phone on the toilet. <laughs> Because when he's on the toilet, that's what he thinks of beer. Where, where all good news stories come from. <laughs> he's just sitting there pissing. And he's like, well, I'm in beer. Well, that's where I think about beer. Peeps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he thinks, oh, look at that hole over there. That reminds me of Peeps. <laughs> uh, craft beer may be getting cheaper. 
Uh, supposedly. Uh, Maybe. Interesting experiment, to say the least. Uh, and this is this is not an, a new thing. I mean, right. uh, genetically modified yeast is kind of a new thing, but uh, using yeast different yeast strains to flavor beer is right. not new. That's that's. I mean, you can see that from just the different varieties of beer that are out there. You got like your Belgian styles and your Saisons and stuff like that, your farmhouse. You just get a wide variety of different types of flavors of beer from just changing the yeast. Right. So, um, but but genetically modified yeast, to, to have that hoppy, mm -hmm. bitter flavor to it is yeah. kind of interesting. Yeah, what, uh, this is a German startup, isn't it? Or where was this uh, This at? is in Berkeley, actually. Berkeley, okay. Yeah, it's Berkeley. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I need to read the articles better. <laughs> um, anyway, they are uh, trying to in, uh, basically genetically modify yeast. So, as everyone says, when they poop out beer, yeah. uh, it comes with a hoppy flavor. Yeah. Um, because traditionally, beer has four ingredients. Barley, water, yeast, and hops. Yeah. Um, and so if they can eliminate some of the expense of the hops... Yeah, that um, would make beer cheaper. It would make beer cheaper. Right. Um, I mean, you you look at the Sam Adams commercials, you know, one barrel has like a pound of hops. Yeah, Those a lot of hops. pound of hops cost a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and it's why Budweiser has like three hops in a barrel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's hardly any hop, <laughs> hop flavor. There's a lot of people experimenting with, with hop extract, too, with like taking yeah. the, the hop oils and making yeah, extract oil. flavors. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, it should be. Uh... I mean, I'm I'm, I'm skeptical. Yep. I, I am a bit of a purist too. I mean, like yep. the German purity laws, whatever. Yep. Uh, and 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 they know they that they do um, uh, genetically modified hops all the time to get yeah. different flavors. Knock it off. Sorry, my dog's chewing on cardboard in the other room. <laughs> it's part of a complete breakfast that, for dogs. That's right. Um, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So yeah, they genetically modified hops all the time. That's how you get like the different varieties, and that's why there's yeah. a lot of these new beers coming out that have um, like well, citrus. Hops. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, it's like, hey, can we make a beer taste like armpits and grapefruit? That's and right. Like, oh, let's do it. You know, nailed it. By the way. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job. I'm, I'm, I'm powering through it. They're not like they, they, they just wanted to do it. They didn't think they should. They didn't think about whether they should. Oh, what's the Jurassic Park line? Zeke, I'm gonna have to put you away. Yeah. No more. Thank you. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, I hate going dad voice on the uh, on the podcast. <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> Anyone else want a puppy? Yeah. <laughs> One that loves cardboard. One that loves cardboard. Uh, yeah. You could basically feed him. Oh, now he's yeah. going to leave puppy dog eyes. You don't, <laughs> he's sitting there just... You don't have to take out recycling anymore. You just yeah. you know, feed the dog cardboard. Just put it in the dining room. He'll have at it. Yeah. Mm. You could sprinkle a little bit of, like... You know, gravy on there. Yep. It's like he'll eat it. Yep. Just leave out the cardboard and the peeps and he'll yeah. have at it. <laughs> yeah. Cardboard beer. Yeah. Uh, haven't they done that before? I've had some beers that tasted, tasted like, like cardboard, cardboard yeah. but I, I don't think they've made cardboard beer because yeah. it just doesn't sound like an appetizing. Right. I, I know you guys talked about rock beer. Yeah, uh, there was last, a rock beer we last talked week. about. There was a couple years ago at Brewfest, we had that pepperoni pizza beer. Yes, that yeah. was Zeigel House. So okay, yeah, yes. Zeigel yeah. House, Zeigel yeah. House up, up in, yeah. uh, on 82nd in Portland. Whew. Yeah, that was that was probably one of the more unique beers. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, everybody else hated it. I kind of liked it. I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was. Um, honestly, I could have, I could have powered through like four ounces of it any more than that. I, I didn't know. I didn't think it was delicious. And, and I, and I thought that very late and very many beers into the day. Yeah. That I'm going, no, I'm, I'm not drinking that. It, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> delicious. It wasn't a delicious beer. Yep. It was just unique and, and, and different. <laughs> yep. Uh, Zeke, maybe they're going to have to hold you or put you in your box. Oh, not, one, now one he's, now two. he's getting into the, yep. the packing foam. Ugh. Uh, time out. We got a doggy discipline time. Yep. We're not going to turn the camera around because we don't want to broadcast dog abuse. Oh, oh, poor dog. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, so brutal. I'm kidding. Oh my God. Ah, oh, there's a dog. Oh, your your subscription rate's going to go up like that's, that's right. by about a thousand from that's just right. putting the putting the puppy on, right? If oh, you remember puppy. from January second, this is the same dog. Mm -hmm. He's a little bit bigger yeah, now. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Still a lap dog though. Yep, still a lap still dog. Still put on the lap. Yep. Yeah, they they say uh, originally they thought he was going to be more Aussie Shepherd than anything else. Right. Um, there's little bits of Chihuahua in him. It's keeping him fairly slender. He's going to um, smell that beer and he's just going to run away and he fear. does he yeah. does like beer. <laughs> yeah, not that one though. Apparently, nope. <clears throat> that kind of smells armpitty. That's right. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you, Zeke. Mm -hmm. At least he's not eating cardboard up here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. He's just going to start chewing on the side of your desk. Yeah. He's got to get roughage somehow. Yep. That's right. So if we didn't buy him enough toys or chew toys or no, treats. He's never satisfied. Or, just like... No. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. He's yes. such a millennial. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a hipster dog? Yeah, yeah. he's a hipster, little, dog. Little hipster dog. He's wearing that collar, ironically. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. See, the problem is he can reach my chin now. So yeah. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna like eat half your beard oh, he, pretty he, soon. And he's a lover, not a fighter. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's for darn sure. <laughs> Puppy All tax right. met for the stream. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, did you read the Intel article, or where do I we want did. to start for tech I news? I did. We can start with Intel. Tell I did what, read that can one. Can you intro the in Intel article? I'm going to go put him away real quick. Okay. Uh, so Intel is actually uh, revealing its schedule for, well, they're starting to reveal their scheduling for their fixes for uh, Meltdown and Spectre. Um, I think at first, they're just going to be working on the uh, enterprise level. Um, let me see, where's, <laughs> I gotta get the mouse and where's the notes? The enterprise level processors, there they are. Here's the show notes. Yeah, Skylake X. Sky, yeah, Skylake X and Cascade Lake CPUs are gonna be the first ones uh, that they're gonna start working on. There's gonna be hardware fixes and I think it's gonna start uh, second, second half, half. Of, of 2018. Yes. So the second half of this year, yep. they're gonna start putting out uh, the fixes for it. Yep. Um, there's still no word about when they're gonna be doing the more commercial Right. Great processors. Um, won't be but, sometime until 2019. Yeah. So. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, uh, like Steve said, first half of, or second half of 2018, so sometime after July, uh, they are going to introduce new chips on the Skylake yeah. X platform, uh, which is the um, X299 um, for the high-end consumer, although there's no word if they're going to release high-end desktop chips with that, or if this is just going to be enterprise chips. I guess you consider the i9 to be desktop chip. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's workstation enthusiast grade. Yes, but, it's very high but up it, there. But it still lacks ECC memory support yeah. and, and things like that. Um, and it's typically not using virtualization loads. Um, so, yeah, I... I, I, and virtualization is really where this is vulnerable because right. it's it's the memory sharing in that higher level yeah. cache yeah. that causes this exploit. Right. Um, so they are probably going to, in my opinion, again, I have no information here, um, only release enterprise level chips that be your Xeon processors for yeah. your high end platforms um, with this hardware level fix. Um, well, of course, I mean, you know, enterprise level is going to be their bread and butter anyway, so right. they don't want that fix first. Exactly. Especially, well, yeah. Is it, is it growing on you? That exit. It's, oh. it's growing on me like a fungus. Yeah. Like, like a, not a good growing on me. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to, like, hurry up and finish it so I can right. go so on to something, get on else. something else. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not growing on me in a good way. Mm -mm, um, mm -mm. The, 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 the front and, and the main body of it are actually quite good. Yeah. Um, like, it's, like you said, a real citrusy grapefruit yeah. kind of taste. Um, That's why I keep continually sipping it because... Yeah. The aftertaste the, the comes in. And it sits there forever. Like, mm, it's, like, not good. It, it's a real weird flavor, like like you swallow. Yeah. And then half a second later, the flavor is literally gone. Yeah. And it's like I'm sitting in a gym locker somewhere. Yeah. It's like purgatory in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. It just... You just, shall <laughs> never leave. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me my chat back. Yeah. Puppy tax meant for the stream. Full of cardboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saying hi, cute dog. Thank you, Cloud. I see you every week on there. Thank you, Cloud. Thank you for watching. And Sunclaw. I see yeah. you all the time on there, yeah. too. And Osgeld, I see you. And, of course, uh, Roman Numeral Guy, you're on my Discord. I see you. Uh, let's see. Is there anyone else I see? There's no Joe this week. No, I, I haven't seen Joe this week. That's good. So, someone That's tag good. him on Discord. Say, Joe, where uh, you at? Yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve wants a shot of Colvin. <laughs> As long as they're gonna like not give me a shot of like whiskey and toothpaste or something. That's right. We we won't go exotic. <laughs> we won't go exotic. I got some Pepto over there too. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> is that gonna go with the shot or is that after the shot? Uh, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> Tabasco and <laughs> and Sambuca. <laughs> so anyway, um, 
what this means for current chips is there, uh, and, we, and we've discussed this before, current enterprise level and consumer level chips, yeah. there is no fix for this. Um, uh, there's, well, there's, there's outs, the software. Outs, software th there's software some fix, software yeah. fixes, but most of the software fixes have made the issue worse, worse. or performance, worked at all. Yeah, performance um, tanked. Very, very point, performance software, degrading yeah. fixes in the software yeah. level. Um, so this isn't going to go away until uh, uh, Lucid, see you too. Um, this isn't going to go away until uh, they start re-engineering their, their architecture of their CPUs to to hold those cores and, the, and that low, level three cache yeah. not shareable. Mm -hmm. um, see the wine rum in the background? Excellent add to the shelf. Yes, you saw the collar rum up there? Oh yeah. Yeah, that stuff is delicious. I'm gonna have to have some then. Yep, yeah. Because <laughs> I like rum. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to bring that back down. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a bit of a rum aficionado. Yeah, J John and I uh, brought that out last yeah. week, so we'll, we'll bring it back down at the, at okay. the end of the show. Okay, we'll just, just for you, Steve. All right. So, but yeah, that, I'll my, feel included. Yeah, my parents spent a week in Maui and uh, left me at home. Uh, <laughs> it was like Home Alone 5? Yeah. Is that what it was? I, I'm, I'm 32 and <laughs> yeah. I still get bummed when they go on vacation without me. So, yeah. <laughs> home Alone 5, the 401k years. Uh, is it just me with a slight lag behind the audio? Uh, it might not just be you. Um, I, I've been working with some audio synchronization issues on my streaming. Um, I'm doing a new camera setup. We're, we're working through it. Yeah. So, sorry. Listen to it. <laughs> if it doesn't work, we'll just go straight to pantomime That's right. subtitles. That's right. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so yeah, consumer level, there's not going to be any fixes really anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, and some experts said until 2020. Intel saying at least 2019. Yeah. I, I read that to mean like early 2020, late 2019 right. at the earliest. Um so, yeah. So I mean, but have you have you read anybody about? Have you read anything about this being exploited? Um, I have not. Because I mean, it's been it's been widely known for about um, two months now. Uh, late January. Yeah. I think. So yeah. almost that. So um, so has there been any anybody's creating exploits based on? I it? haven't heard of any exploits. Yeah, I based haven't on this. either. I haven't heard of any but, major problems as a result of this. I mean, I I could be wrong, but. I haven't heard of any ways to detect this activity either. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. They know it's theoretically possible, and they released some source code for some of the tools that they use to test it. Uh -huh. um, I have not heard of this actually being exploited. Um, but how would you detect that one of your VMs was snooping on level three cache and just writing it to right, memory, right. And just writing it yeah, to storage? Storage, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, that you'd have to be snooping on the layer three cache yourself and then reading the ins and outs. Yeah. Um, and as far as I know, there's no antivirus software that does that at such a low level. Um, there, there's rootkit antivirus out there. There's yeah. some other things that detect That's like file level, system yeah. operating, yeah. you know, yeah. file system level. But um, as far as beyond that, I don't know. Uh, that would be tricky. That would be tricky. Yeah, it would be tricky. Uh, but no, I have not heard of uh, of it exploiting or being exploited anywhere. Not yet. Anyway. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, HTC Vive made some headlines this week. Yeah. For, uh, they announced Vive pricing for the new Vive Pro, and they announced a, a price cut for the existing HTC Vive. And everyone thinks that would be a win for you as a company. It, you know, I think it would be. I mean, I think it's like down to the affordable level. Um, I think the five ninety nine for the Vive is affordable. It's affordable, yeah. Or the four ninety nine, excuse me. Yeah. So the, the new price for the HTC Vive, which is the full package, you get the original HTC Vive, you get the two controllers, yep. the lighthouses, everything you need, cabling, mm -hmm. the connector box. Um, is four ninety nine, mm -hmm. and honestly, it is the best that's virtual that's good, reality yeah. system that's out there today. It's, it's better than Oculus Rift. It, yeah. It's better than the Oculus Rift yeah. from an all around perspective. Um, I think the Oculus has slightly better optics, um, but the tracking is much worse in a larger space. Mm -hmm. Whereas in an HTC Vive, the tracking is much more accurate on a much broader scale. Yeah. Um, and and on, honestly, the difference in clarity in the display is not that significant. Um, so. But yeah, four ninety nine versus three ninety nine for the Oculus Rift. So again, hundred dollar premium, but I totally cool. It, yeah, the hundred dollars is worth it. Not not the spot where I'm upset. Yeah, the spot where I'm upset is the pricing for the, the for Pro. the HTC Vive Pro. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, eight hundred dollars, and everyone goes, well, that's where the original HTC Vive came. But out. it doesn't include. It comes with the headset that, only. Yeah, it doesn't come with the doesn't come with the lighthouses. Doesn't come with the controllers. Mm -hmm. Which one hundred and thirty dollars a piece for the lighthouses, which is 
highway robbery, if you ask mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. it, it's a spinning laser with a Bluetooth connection. Yeah. Um, and a little diode mirror. Um, and then the... You just make it at home. Right. And you then make the crap. This is like some... some you know, yeah. some, <laughs> and then the HTC controllers, and some, like, which are 135 paper. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So you're looking. What is that? 260 plus 270. Yeah. That's 500. And I think it comes like if you, if you want. If you, yeah, I, I think it's like I think it comes to like a total of like 1300. 1330. Yeah, something I, like that. Quick yeah. math off the top of my head. Yeah. 1330 dollars for the same setup. While it does have 78 percent resolution increase which yeah. if you watch my htc vive pro preview that i did at ces hint hint um <laughs> uh, i've got a video on my channel where i demoed the, the htc vive and i think i was one of the first on youtube with it because i saw it monday morning at ces oh yeah um i was very impressed visually with what it was it is not a 300 hundred dollar premium on the existing headset yeah and it is certainly not yeah, not worth eight hundred dollars. It's a slightly itself. better, yeah. It's slightly better. Yeah. The screen door effect is still there, and until they find mm. a way to eliminate the screen door effect, resolution is not the answer there. Um, resolution only gets you so far. It's the space between the individual pixels right. that causes that clarity to go away. Well, they because they have to have that to to, to give that peripheral vision. They have to kind of have the fisheye. Right. lens thing to kind of make it look that way. And when you do that on a pixelated screen, you're mm -hmm. going to get that screen. Right. You, you're, you're enlarging the pixels, but yeah. you're also enlarging the space between the pixels. Yes, exactly. And that's so where that screen that. door comes mm -hmm. from. Um, that's where you get that. And eliminating that, you almost have to go to a whole different type of display technology to right. do that. Right. I don't know if that's going to happen anytime uh, soon. I, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, I think they've gotten it pretty good, mm -hmm. but until their manufacturing process literally gets smaller, and, yeah. and they don't need as much circuitry between the individual right. pixels. Um, you're not gonna get much better than what is out there right now. Yeah. I mean, um, I've heard really good things about the Samsung Odyssey, the standalone headset mm -hmm. from Samsung for 500. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I was actually really impressed with some of the Windows uh, mixed reality headsets. Yeah. Um, I tried one from Acer and I tried one from, I wanna say it might've been, it wasn't a Dell, uh, it might've been Lenovo. Um, okay. And uh, and those were both very solid. I, I was visually impressed with those, and tracking wise, I was very impressed. Um, and I think those are on sale for like two hundred twenty five bucks, and it comes with the controllers. Those are pretty good. Solid deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want to get into into virtual reality, two hundred twenty five bucks, go pick yourself up a Windows Mixed Reality headset. Um, if you're really serious about it, I would say go buy a Vive. Um, it's the most widely supported and has the most games. Um, and it's pretty damn slick too. I mean, totally. Yeah. All right, what are you guys doing in the chat? Holy crap. Gosh. Uh, greetings, folks. Am I late? You're never late. Uh, Tetrapodum. I think that's your name. Yeah, Tetrapodum. You're never late. Uh, hi, nice. guys. Everyone wants a shout out. Hey, hi. How's it going? Um, new to the channel. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, thanks for joining. That's right. Uh, yeah, Tetrapodum. Uh, a late tuber. <laughs> I, I guess a late tuber's late. A late tuber. A late tuber. <laughs> it's coming late to YouTube. But welcome to the channel, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us. So, but yeah. So, and I'm not alone in my thoughts for the HTC Vive Pro pricing. Um, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people think it's a little ridiculous. Eight hundred dollars is a stretch. Uh, I don't care yeah. how good the new tech is. I don't care what you did with the second camera. I, I think they're 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 probably banking on a lot of people just upgrading who have existing ones so they don't have to buy the controller or buy the, I, the lighthouses again. I'd pay between four and $500 for the headset standalone. Yeah. That, that's my max. Yeah. Uh, you, just don't, you just don't think the small bump in resolution is worth it. It's not there. Not even the built-in headset, nothing like that? Nope. Nope, it's not worth it. Nope, it's not worth it. I don't, I don't think it is either. You can, I mean, get, the, you can get the Pro you can, Audio you Strap get, for hundred bucks. Yeah, you can get a decent headset for under a hundred bucks. Yeah, so. you, you can get the built-in Pro Audio Strap, which comes with the same headphones mm. that are on the Vive Pro for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, you can get the wireless adapter is backwards compatible, so you can still get the wireless adapter mm -hmm. plug-in and have wireless Rift or uh, Oculus, which is, uh, I said the wrong word twice, yeah, yeah. wireless Vive, um, which, in my opinion, the cable is the one thing that's been holding. Right. So how uh, much is the, how much is the, is the wireless? Unit? I think it was going to be two hundred bucks. Well, that's already a three hundred dollar bump if you're including right. the the headset and, right. the, and the wireless. Right, but the Vive Pro doesn't come with the wireless. Oh, it doesn't. No, it's two hundred dollars oh, on top of that. On top so if of you that. want wireless Vive Pro yeah. and you don't have it yet, it's fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, so that's not even. Yeah, right. so that's it's, not even. It's worth not it. yeah. in the realm of possibility. They're they're double where they were for the original Vive release, albeit with better specs and newer technology. But you're supposed to do that two years. Oh, ago. They're probably banking on early adopters. Right, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. 
So it'll it'll go down Christmas time or something. Yeah, I'm like that. I'm I'm really disappointed with where they landed with that. So yeah, they're probably just selling it high. So when they do actually bring it down to a reasonable level, they'll be like, oh, what a what a great bargain! And, and that is a marketing strategy. Yeah. Price it high, make it ex make it exclusive. You know, and, and say, I mean, oh, we're having a hard time keeping it on the shelves. People are eating it up. And then sometime around October go, oh, we're releasing a new price, 600 bucks. Yeah. And then it just goes flying off the shelves. Flying off the point. shelves. Yeah. Or for 800, now we're including the controllers. Yeah. Yeah. Or we've developed the new Knuckles controllers and we're including those in the box yeah. now. Yeah. It, it could totally be a marketing thing. Yeah. So. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I feel like I'm nursing this beer and I really don't want there's, to be. There's, yeah, you shouldn't be. I'm trying to power through it a little bit, and um, you know, there's some beers that once you get towards the end, you're like, ah, I don't mind so much. This one, not, not, it hasn't, hasn't gotten, my opinion has not changed. Has not changed. No, no, not in the slightest. If you're not a fan of farmhouses, you're not going to be a fan of this. It, it I, actually, I actually like farmhouses, and I'm not really yeah, a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this. Um, it's too... Like, I don't like a lot of skunk in my beer. Yeah. And this is almost that skunk flavor on the backside. Yeah. And it just stays there. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think uh, Bits and Bobs, good attempt, but... Uh, I, I've, ha I've had some of Ruben's brews before, and they're really good. And I have too. This I've, one, I've had good success with them. This one, not so much. Not so much. So. Maybe I'll try again next year, see if they get something better. So I think this is like the third bad beer we've had on the channel. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just not good <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm not rating it as good i'm, I'm it's I'm, like i'm saying it's a bad and, beer. and like and like if, if 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 beers were sins yeah and and you know murder is like the worst beer you ever if, had if, if this, this would be like masturbation if, this would be like it's kind of not 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 see, like see, they don't yeah. encourage it but you know god doesn't want to you know he, it's like this that's where it's at okay <laughs> <laughs> um see i actually give honest scalable ratings on untapped oh my, okay. my, my beers on untapped are not five or zero right uh, my, my beers i actually judge okay this kind of slots between these so it's like a 3.75 mm -hmm. or a 3.25 yeah. i'd give this like a one and a quarter one and a quarter, one and a yeah. quarter. yeah like i'd I, give it higher because I, I, I give i give like i give like dos equis a one and a quarter and i drink dos equis over this probably yeah see but i've i've had some malt liquors that are a little bit better than this yeah, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> well, malt liquors are super sweet. They're anyway. super sweet, they're super right? Super sweet, anyway. But but this the, the but this flavors, is, just, yeah, don't the flavors match just don't match at all. Yeah, and, and that's my problem with yeah. it. Is, is I, I see where the attempt was, and it's just not there. Yeah. So. Oh well. Sorry, sorry, Ruben. Yeah. We'll try it again though. Don't, oh don't, yeah. Don't worry about that. Zima, never forget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, we're not going to repeat the Zima incident. Yeah. Well, we may with the old English. I, I, Next time you're on, you want to do malt liquors? Yeah, that would be okay. Be I, that'd be fun. interesting. I would we'll, like to we'll do, do some a malt, malt, liquor. malt liquor week. Yeah, we'll do a malt liquor. I won't be driving home, though. No. <laughs> Actually, no, malt liquor is not, not that bad. I think we've had higher percentage beers than most malt liquors. Like, we have. I think old English is only like 8%. It's not super high. Is it even that high? I thought it was like 65 or 7 I think Colt Forty Five is around that level. Most most malt liquors are around six and seven. See now you got me guessing. I think I think uh, I think Old English is like eight because they call it's Old English eight hundred because I think it's eight percent. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, because they call it Old English eight hundred. Five point nine two eight percent. Okay, so, so what? Okay, wait. How can it be a, a a consistent product, but they range in ABV? Because they change it. Oh, they have the high region. gravity. Okay, okay yeah. I see. Yes, yeah, so they got. Yeah. Okay. So depending on your region, Old right. English is somewhere between five point nine. If you live on the East Coast through mid through the Midwest, if you live on the West Coast, you can get a seven point five percent or an eight point oh. How is it in Oklahoma that it's only three point two? Uh, they have weird that, liquor laws in Oklahoma. I thought that was Utah that had just weird liquor laws. Oh, Utah that has was... some even stranger liquor laws. Yeah, but Oklahoma's okay. not that far behind them. All right. So. Yeah, Old English. Well, 8, I wasn't 8%. wrong. No, you weren't wrong. I also wasn't wrong. <laughs> no, you weren't also Yeah, you're both right. <laughs> That's right. That's very rare. <laughs> we, we have different answers, but we're both right. That's right. All right. Uh, so, uh, we reported last maybe two, three weeks ago, I think, 
on uh, someone made the world's largest two and a half inch. I think I was SSD. on I was on that show when we first did that, I, I and think then we did, every so. single time I'm here, there's like a new SSD record. Broke a record. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nimbus Data has yeah. a hundred terabyte SSD. Yep. In a three and a half inch form factor. So that's your standard mechanical drive form factor. If, if I had this, I can download my whole Steam library yeah. onto it. Barely. Maybe I might be able to fit. For people who are my friends on Steam, they, they know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Well, I, how many games do you have on Steam? Uh, 2,000 plus yeah. something. I got a lot. Yeah. So, uh, how many of those are Humble Bundles? Uh, 90%. <laughs> okay. There, yeah. There you go. No, there's more than just Humble Bundles in there. Yeah. Oh, well, I like, know. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Yep. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got a fair number of uh of my own. Uh, I've, I think I cracked five hundred a couple of weeks oh, yeah. ago. Um, but the majority of mine have been on Steam. I've, I've got my humble bundles. I've got the You Don't yeah. Know Jack bundle, and I've yeah. got a couple other of those where I've got like thirty games in one shot for a couple mm -hmm. of bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, so the world's largest one hundred or sorry, world's most capacious three and a half inch. Uh, SSD at 100 terabytes. Yep. Um, you could scale this to a 100 uh, petabyte solid state array in a single 42U rack. Rack, yeah. That's insane. So obviously they're gearing for commercial use, yes. enterprise level. Yeah, but uh, again, uh, I, I like reporting on this because uh, enterprise and commercial and, and real high and stuff, it, that's what gets my juices flowing. Like, I yeah. love the gamer stuff, too. Yeah. Don't get me oh, yeah. wrong, but yeah. but you, you read 100 terabytes right. that can fit in the palm of your hand. Oh, oh that's that's amazing. Oh. Yeah. We're yes. Getting, we're getting, we're getting get, out there levels. Give me some more of that. In fact, I was, I was really surprised because, like, one of the things I've been doing lately, <clears throat> I've been going through all my old, old pirated CDs and uh -huh. stuff like that in my old games because I'm like, I'm just going to stick these in the attic. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to stick them in. I'm, I'm done with having them in my office. And so I'm like, I'm just going to back them all up first. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to put them on a, a on a drive. And I had like three big boxes full of, of CDs. And I fit it on one terabyte drive and it didn't even fill it up halfway. Yep. And that was, that was like uh, around 1999 to 2003 era. Yeah. About that time. See, I've I've got so some, that was that was just that wasn't that was fifteen years ago. I, I've got some old CDs longer than that. Yeah, Ninety nine well, was nineteen. I said years I said to two thousand three, two thousand four okay, around okay. that time. Yeah, you're flirting that line. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm aging myself a little bit, but yeah, yeah so it was around that time. So I've got some CDs dating back to nineteen ninety five. Yeah, um, I do too. I had I had a few that hit that. I don't know if anyone noticed the retail box that's behind your head right now. Oh yeah, the one that's. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I, I found I found uh, my Fortran disc. Oh, did you? Oh yeah, I had a Fortran CD in there. You know what? I'm gonna break this out. I, I wasn't going to tonight. I was gonna leave it there and see if anyone noticed. I'm gonna break this out because uh, you you will find this one interesting. I like, yeah, I like okay. this. Yeah. So, this is my Windows 3.1 retail box. Um, I don't remember where I got this. Um, I I don't think I purchased this is, it. This is like an episode of Antiques Roadshow. Oh, totally. That we're watching right now. So I got this back <laughs> in 1993. <laughs> this is vintage Microsoft, signed yeah. by Bill Gates. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell from the colors that they use. You can period date. It from, yeah. You can carbon date the box. Yeah. So so this is my Windows 3.1 retail box, new Windows. Yeah. And it's 3.1, not 3.0. Yeah. Um, and it's also not 3.11 for workgroups. So yeah. this was what you would go to software, et cetera, yes, and buy off the buy shelf. That, yeah. um, so the box gonna, is not the yes. interesting part. It's the contents of the box. The contents of the box is the interesting part. Now don't give this box to Ask Zoom. me if those have been opened. Oh. <laughs> Hermetically sealed floppy disks. These are original floppy disks oh, yeah. in the shrink wrap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yes, this box is a new copy of Windows 3.1. Yeah. These floppies have never been used. Now they're probably dead at this point because that was 25 years ago. I don't know. I think magnetic media holds up a lot better than you think. It holds decently, but yeah. I've started to see corrupted floppy disks. Well, there was there was the thing that, that they were talking about. Oh, uh, and back when you got user guides with everything. Oh, yeah. It's not PDFs. Not PDF, yeah. This Actual is, user guides. Yeah. So yeah, th this is one of my my favorite things that I own. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, one of the reasons why I started, you know, backing up my collection too, because they say, you know, like, you know, they were saying that CDs, DVDs only are supposed to last 10, 15 years max. But I, <laughs> I haven't had a single, nice. single failure. You think, uh, think you have CDs? I'm 62 years young. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like Epsidic drives sitting out there. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, um, the artwork on the back is fantastic. I'm gonna show that off real quick. Make your PC easier to use. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if you remember. I mean, you think you think this whole uh, the new Marvel Avengers movie is the biggest crossover. Yeah. But you forget the Windows ninety five Friends crossover. Oh yeah. Yeah. That do was. You, do you remember what what special <laughs> hidden thing came on the Windows ninety five CD? There were two things I, on the CD. I I remember the I remember the hidden thing in in, in Office ninety five. Mm -hmm. There was the the kind of uh, flight flight simulator yep. um, Easter yep. egg. I remember that. I don't remember what was on. Uh... Well, there was there was the hover game, which everyone remembers. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Yeah. There was also uh, Weezer's music video "Say It Ain't So." Really, yeah. that was in Windows ninety five. Yeah. yeah. Flip on the telly. <laughs> wrestle with Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that the the music video is on there. I think it's in. 240 by 144 resolution. Yeah, yeah. And it's running even, something like 12 even, frames even, per second. Not even YouTube compression, like below yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it, was, it was amazingly yeah. bad. Even for the day, I'm watching this going, look, my computer's playing a vid... Kind uh, of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I should dig that up sometime and see if... Uh, see if it's out there. See, see if I... I'm well, sure I, some, I, I'm I sure have some Windows 95 it. discs, yeah, yeah. so I'll, I'll, I'll pop one in and I'll see if it's I on I think there, I still so. have a, a 98 just yeah. got there somewhere. I've I've got I've got pretty much every Windows OS dating back to 3.1 install discs original. Oh, um, really? I've, I've got uh, I've got the Windows 3.1. I've got a Windows 95 CD, so it's revision. You got ME too. I, I have me. I have ME. Oh, okay. Um, That's the one that just everyone just uses like toilet paper. I have an NT4 afterwards. disc. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. um, I've got a 2000. Um, I don't have a 2000 server, um, but I've got. I a, think I have 2000 server somewhere. Yeah. It, um, was, it was. It was. It was. Um, uh, what is not, it wasn't retail it was um, back when MSDN used to be distributed oh yeah yeah. yeah this was MS, back when MS, you have the subscription and they just yeah. send you software yes oh god they gave us just like reels yeah. and reels of stuff yeah and I'm like oh there's this whole book can I just take this home oh yeah that's fine yeah. take it alright let's see what else we got on the news today uh, this one was uh, kind of interesting and will oh, probably yeah. spark a, a flame war somewhere uh, so Fortnite overtakes PUBG as the most played game on the internet yeah. Uh, 3.4 million concurrent players. Remember when uh, Steam not long ago said we've crossed a million concurrent players? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know why this why this happened. And they're talking about servers not playing on the PC because they released Fortnite for mm -hmm. uh, Android and uh, OS X. Right. So now they have the mobile version. Yeah. And they have the Xbox and the PS4 version. Mm -hmm. And I think the only platform they don't have it on yet is the Switch. Right. But it's rumored to be coming to the Switch. Yeah, I'm, and I'm sure it will be with the success that they're seeing. Yeah. Am I Both like, Fortnite and PUBG. Uh, PUBG, yeah. PUBG released a, a mobile version this last week, I think. And I don't... I don't... Are the, are the Windows... Are the uh, mobile versions are not cross-platform yet? The PUBG is pl cross-platform. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. It's the full game. Mm. It's the absolute full game. I, I, I have not looked too much on that. I can't imagine it running very well because it <laughs> runs like crap on an high-end PC anyway. Um... It, it's scaled down. The resolution scaled down. Yeah. The textures are way smaller. Um, there's probably no fancy, like... There's no fancy or... lighting or volumetric yeah. Yeah. Shadow shading or anything like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, the Razer phone played it, I guess, at 120 hertz. Oh, that's... Well, so, I mean, that's... Yeah. Like, like it actually ran at 120 FPS mm -hmm. to, to take advantage of that screen. So, yeah, they were touting that this last week. That, look, you can do mobile gaming on a phone. Like, first I, time ever. I think... I think... <laughs> I mean, just I don't know that they just can. Don't talk about NBA, I, just, NBA. I just, I just do not like how controls work on a phone, on a, on a game, especially like a first-person shooter. It's just, I, I don't like controllers on a first-person shooter right. already. Right. Uh, on a phone, it's just on like phone, it's worse. Yeah. It's, it's worse. Yeah. Um, I, I can't stand button-based interfaces on a phone. Yeah. Um, I have to have some physical some tactile, tactile, yeah, something uh, to it. Something um, pressing, yeah. So yeah. Um, I will say, I'm, I'm a bit of a heathen. I, I do have a, an Xbox controller on my desk. Oh, I mean, I have, I have an Xbox I controller I hide it on too. stream. I'm ashamed. I, I even, I have the, I have the Steam controller. I use the Steam Link yeah. from time to time, and that's an okay controller. I do use the Steam Link. Um, I don't have the Steam controller. I, yeah, I, I use that. Those, it, it's okay. I mean, yeah. it's, it's not the greatest, but it's, it's, it's comparable for, like, when you just want to sit on the couch and play something mm -hmm. that, that... Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, I actually use it for some of my, my PC gaming. Uh, I actually prefer to play, like, GTA V with a controller. Yeah. I don't use keyboard and mouse. I, 
I don't mind the driving in mm -hmm. GTA 5 with the controller, mm -hmm. but when I have to sit down there and shoot people, e even, that the, sucks. even the shooting, I don't, I don't like mind it. because it's it's they not have, they have as, pretty good locking. Mechanism, they got pretty good yeah. locking mechanism. It, yeah. It's more twitch based yeah. rather than uh, precision based. If yeah. I'm playing a, an actual first person shooter, I'll keyboard and mouse all day long. Yeah, no, I mean ninety percent of what you do in GTA 5 mm -hmm. is okay with a controller. Right, and but it's I, the shooting I, I just don't like. Yeah, I play GTA 5 with a controller. Um, I play like Rocket League with a controller. Yeah, that's okay. And, and a couple other games like that. Um, anything that's driving based. Well, I've got a full steering wheel. You can't do Counter Strike with a controller. No, that's, that's that's sacrilege right there. Well, I always love it when the when the Call of Duty fanboys get online and they go, "Oh, we could take any Call of Duty player anytime." Okay, really? Let, let, tell you what, you get on Call of Duty with a controller, and tell you what, I'll go pistols only with, yeah, with, the, with the mouse and keyboard. Mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Headshot. Yeah. Headshot. Yeah. Headshot. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just. Oh. But yeah, no. Fort, Fortnite took over. Um, I think it's mainly because they, they, I guess their their mobile version is just a little more on par, I guess, mm -hmm. with the game. And and also it's free. And it's free. Yeah. Yeah. That, it can't be. Yeah, now have you? Played it? Yeah, have you tried Fortnite? I have not played Fortnite. I have played PUBG. Okay, I haven't played PUBG, but I've played Fortnite. Okay. Like a couple rounds, mm -hmm. and I suck at it. Yeah. I <laughs> die. I die constantly. But it is kind of fun yeah. because it's it's like you you it, where it's different than PUBG. Mm -hmm. You you just start tearing things apart as soon as you land. You just like start yeah. ripping things apart and gathering resources. Yeah. So you can start building your own stuff. You just like build some you know stairway to heaven as soon mm -hmm. as you get there and you like start sniping at people whatever so i mean it's got that kind of different strategy to it yeah where PUBG doesn't have it and that's kind of a fun game yeah. i mean and it's free so yeah it's not not too bad yep um yeah i finally got online with uh, rocket league this last week had some fun doing that yeah. um i've typically when i've played rocket league it's just because i need to benchmark it and yeah. and it's fun playing but and and i often find myself getting sucked into that game I when i'm always, benchmarking i always find that it's it's kind of a weird game to benchmark cuz it's not super demanding it's not super demanding but uh because people are playing it highly competitively yes uh the the super high frame times actually do yes. matter in yes yes they game. do well it's the same so thing with with csgo with csgo yeah. with uh and and a couple others of the esport titles yeah. uh, overwatch mm -hmm. they're not highly demanding games but but the frame but rate there accuracy, is yeah. but there is a difference as a player between 60 and 120 and 144 mm -hmm. hertz and, yeah. and even beyond that you know yeah. if, if you're pushing 180 or 240 through right. csgo you mm -hmm. have an advantage yeah. your computer is reacting to your in input that much faster i'd be really curious to see exactly how big of an advantage based on certain levels of of your play style uh -huh. like amateur versus pro versus mm -hmm. you know yeah because I I played against the computer all day long and I got to the point where I was doing uh, unfair matches one versus three and still yeah. winning against yeah. the computer. It's like oh you know I'll I'll get online. Um, I typically don't play online a whole lot. Mm -hmm. um, I I don't like twelve year olds swearing in my ear and I hate having to mute them in the game. Right. It's just uh, I don't need that kind of crap in my life. I just want to sit down and play a dang game. Yeah. Um, so but I got online just didn't didn't put the headset on just started playing and actually did quite well my first couple of yeah, rounds yeah. um no so. I, I i played rocket league a little bit and i, no. I just sucked at it i was not very good <laughs> i mean i could get back into it i guess but uh, okay let's see what else we got oh uh follow up from last week oh yes the amd amd confirms well kind of kind of okay. <laughs> But that's the thing is like you guys even mentioned it last week. It was like, well, yes, it's true. If you have root access to anything, you can right. You can screw up all kinds of stuff. If, if I have root access to a machine and I know what motherboard and chips that they're running, I can write a fake BIOS for that. Yes, and you flash can do it that. Myself yes, and boom, vulnerability. Yes, ah! there is a vulnerability, but it's, it's so, like you said, it's it's com like this article says, it's completely over overstated risk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so AMD confirms, yes, those methods are effective. Just like they would be for everyone else, yeah. and learn to not give out your root password. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they say they will be working on some patches for the software, um, you know, to kind of tighten this thing up. Maybe some secure authentication and, with BIOS. And I don't think I don't partners, think most people are really that concerned. about Most it, people aren't concerned about this one. I'm certainly not concerned uh, about yeah, this one. I wouldn't be because you really have to have physical access to yeah. the machine. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a great video from uh, uh, DefCon a, a number of years back. Um, where a guy rated his physical security and uh, levels of zombie defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so he uh, he lived on a three-story apartment, and so it was uh, uh, green key gets you in the front door, uh, yellow key gets you onto the floor, and then red key gets you in your door. Mm. Um, and so if they have the red key to your server room, you're... You're screwed all already. Bets are yeah, yeah, you're all bets, yeah. So, your security is already out the door. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, AMD reported... Or, uh, 
confirms, yeah, the reports are kind of valid. You could flash a malicious BIOS onto a board and it could exploit your data, but it can do that to anyone. Yeah. Um, they also asked for an investigation into, quote, unusual trading of AMD stock at the time yeah. of the release of the report. So they're just reiterating the uh, the notion of some kind of stock manipulation what some scheme people going jumped on. To, jumped to conclusions yeah. with, with Viceroy Research, and yeah. you know, we were no different with that. Um, jumping on and going, hey, these guys kind of have a history with things that are kind of sketchy, releasing news things that are real slanderous and real sketchy. Yeah, and the fact that they only gave them 24 hours is pretty telling right, right. there. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, and AMD even reiterated that in their most recent statement, saying we were only given 24 hours, and why didn't they abide by the standard protocol of the industry of 60 to 90 days? Yeah. Um, and working with industry partners and working with manufacturers yeah. and working with add-in boards. Yeah, so. it just it just reeks of, of stock manipulation. Yep, <clears throat> through and through. Uh, let's see, check back in on the chat. Why does it... Why? Uh, da, 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 da. I'd stop playing PUBG. Felt like running a simulator all the time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, there may, as I've reported the last two weeks, may yeah. be some hope on the horizon for gamers in relief of GPU prices. Uh, Ethereum profits are starting to they're, dwindle. They're starting to they're tank. They're starting to turn around and tank, just kind of like the Bitcoin ones are doing, where they... Bitcoin dropped below 8,000 and has kind of stayed there after it peaked at 19,000. Um, so, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to jump onto my local Craigslist. Just to see. Just to kind of prove. See what's, what's, what, uh, see if we got any, like, right. uh, mining machines and out I, there. And I haven't looked today. So, yeah. we're, we're doing this all live. But if I go to computers and I go to parts, let's just search GTX. Okay. I thought you were going to look for casual encounters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that link like... wasn't purple, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I need to sanitize my browser. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, you're starting to see graphics cards drop in prices. Here's a 1070 yeah. for 569 now, still above retail. Still above retail, but, here's but it's getting more reasonable. Here's a 1080 for 669 mm -hmm. and that is just a hair's breadth above what retail costs for a 1080 yep. is. Here's a 1080 Ti for 819 which is only $70 above retail cost. Yeah. So they're starting to come back down. They're starting to come back down. And the other thing that was telling, um, I don't see it in here. Um, go back a couple of pages here. Go all computers. And we'll do the same search here. Oh, in fact, there's oh, one there right we there. go. Cryptocurrency mining. People are yeah. selling their entire mining rigs. And, and again, the reason that's important news to know is number one, they're still asking way too much for these things. Yeah. Um, here's a rig full of 1080s for, for six of them for over $1,000 a piece, plus a board and a processor and a power supply that's not near the world. Of course, it's in Hillsborough. Worth nearly that. Yeah, and of course, it's in Hillsborough. Yeah. Um, it's either in Hillsborough or Lake Oswego. Yeah. Um, so, again, they're, they're starting to sell these rigs still at inflated prices, but that means they're not going to make that on mining in the future with them. Yeah. The, the electricity cost and the cost of the hardware is too high and they're starting to get out of it. They're, they're starting to sell. Um, yeah, someone's saying I can find 1066 gigs at MSRP now and I've started to see those. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw the three gigs not long ago start selling for down in the $220 price range. Um, for some reason, the 1050 Ti's were still inflated, but I think that's just... So the forest is starting to clear out. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get gonna, we're gonna get to the pasture here pretty soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Man, I hope so. Yeah. Because... Uh, I, I can't even count how many computers I have built in here now. I'm, I'm starting to sell some of these yeah. so I can clear out some space. Um, but uh, the only... I, I've got a 1050 Ti behind my head right there. Um, and uh, that's going to go in my streaming machine once I rebuild that. Um, and then I've got my 1080 behind me. Beyond that, my best graphics card is a 760. And so I have like nothing modern to test yeah. on with, with modern hardware. Yeah. And so... The, the number of projects I can do right now, like I'd love to do like a monthly build series and put things together, um, either from used or new just, parts. It's not available. It's just not available. available. I yeah. can't get it. I can't get it to produce content. So yeah. um, as good as I am as being creative with content, I'm having to be even more creative because that's a week in my content that I can't fill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I glue these two cards together. Or something Shut happens. up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good idea and you know Hur it. <laughs> hurry up with your armpit juice. I want to try the next beer. There we go. 
Uh, new glasses. <laughs> yeah. We de- yeah. Oh. These have been there's there these are like Chernobyl glasses. They need to be like stowed away yeah. in a cement sarcophagus for ten years. Yeah. Alright. No, I'm more optimistic about stone here. Oh, so am I. I I've heard some really good things about this brew. So again, this is the Stone Brewing Tangerine Express IPA. Mm. Uh, it's an 8.7 pale ale packed with whole tangerines and pineapple. <laughs> they put there's a whole tangerine at the there's bottom. A whole of the tangerine bottom. in the bottom yeah. of this. It's gonna make it really difficult to pour. Yeah. I'm feeling better about that already. Oh uh, yeah, that's. There you go. It's even got a head on it. Oh, look at that pour. That is good. I slew my roll here. I love it when I can see myself through a uh, through an IPA. Well, you know, it's not a hazy IP at that yep. point. Vlad! Thanks for, Blood, thanks Blood. for watching, my Yay, man. Yay, all right. Your channel is one of my go-to for hardware. Uh, panders to the average folk that have bills and no sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> right up my alley, my there friend. Thank you very yes. much. Um, although I didn't, I did recently, I think I mentioned last week, negotiate my first retail sample that I would be getting from a company to do a review on. So oh, yeah. That will be coming in, in the next couple weeks, but I am still very small potatoes, and I... Uh, even if I do make it big and I start getting sponsorships and doing these crazy $5,000 PC builds and things like yeah. that, I'm still going to pander to the little guy because my entire life has been built on what can I scrounge together to do the things that I need to do on a computer. Yeah. Um, You're going to have to start doing the how can I scrounge together to make a vacuum cleaner. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Piece it together yeah. to make my own Dyson. <laughs> exactly. I need a Dyson V10, but I only have a Hoover. Yeah. How can we mod this? Yeah. See if I overvolt it. So. I gotta overclock my vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So this is actually really good. This is this is. I mean, I I guess I can't say if it's good because it's it's so much better than this. Yeah. It's so much better than this that I, I think it's great, but I don't know. <laughs> my my whole universe has been slanted. <laughs> that is good. It is good. It is good. I'm just gonna say it's good. Yeah. I'm just gonna um, say it's good. Yeah. It is, it is light years ahead of the, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of the bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, real strong pineapple. Yeah. Right on the nose. Yeah, it's good. It's it's not overpowering with the citrus. But yeah. It's there. I, I was hoping for a little more. Uh, I think citrus. Um, yeah. More more of like the sweeter citrus. Oh yeah. Because they're saying yeah. tangerine and pineapple. Yeah. yeah. I expect just a. Just a little bit deeper into that, mm -hmm. that citrus flavor. Oh, yeah. And I'm not quite getting that. I'm getting a lot of hops. Um, it, it's it, very hoppy. It's a very good pale. I mean, it is an IPA. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to get some hops in there. But, the, but yeah, yeah the, the tangerine and the citrus notes are a little bit more yeah, they're, they're, subdued. Yeah, it's not, exactly. It's not super, it's not super yeah. pronounced. Yeah. Um, good hop flavor. Yeah, that's um, not bad. Kind of stays with you. It's um, if, if you like more of the, the bitter kind of, kind of you know, yeah. top, top of the, the palate there. Kind of lingers, it's good. sticks around. A little link, yeah. But not in a bad way. No, it's, it's 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 like it's not like the guest that stays you know over the weekend too long and then uses your bathroom and never flushes. This is like the nice one that just stays for a couple of hours, uh, you know, brings yeah. you a six pack and then you That's know, right. drinks two of them and then leaves. Th this is Steve. He comes over, he does the show, he leaves me beer, and then he goes. Yeah, I'll, 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 although I couldn't help but notice yeah. you only brought two of these. Uh, yeah, thank well, you for only bringing two of these. <laughs> well, you're gonna think, you're gonna think of, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring the rest of them next time here <laughs> and leave them. <laughs> I still have I, I have beer in my fridge that's like three years old. Oh yeah. That I that I have that came in like a twelve pack because I had to buy the twelve pack yeah. to get the three bottles that yeah. I wanted. Yeah. Um and it was so terrible. It's still in my fridge and it's here I, for like I, when friends come over yeah. and they don't like craft beer and they oh yeah, yeah I'll take a beer, whatever you got. <laughs> there you go, try this. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. Have no, the, I think uh, I think we had the have, have the blue moon horchata or something like that. Oh god, I, I've had that before. Yeah, that, that's that what's is, in my fridge. Oh, <laughs> I'm not drinking that. <laughs> yeah, the blue moon. I'm, horchata. I'm not kidding. I, I have I think I have two blue moon horchatas. So yeah, I drank one and I kept the other two. So yeah, my 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 neighbor had uh, I think it was like not last year, not not this Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl before. Yeah. So he's my neighbor's got a friend who works for one of the beer distributors in the, in the Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. So he invited him to the Super Bowl party. 
And so he's like, oh, I'll bring, I'll bring the beer because, yeah. you know, he's a beer distributor. Right. But he just brought a bunch of the old leftover stuff that yeah. no one no wanted. One wanted yeah. So it was all full of this, you know, Blue Moon Horchata beer. Oh, God. <laughs> all that stuff in there like no one wants. And it just, it sat there in his garage for like two years or oh, like a year. And I, think he, I think he just finally fi finished the last piece of garbage beer that was in there. Yep. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Uh, new glasses, hilarious. We needed new glasses. Yeah. Uh, you got any mints on hand <laughs> in case of bad beer? Uh, mints don't, doesn't do it. We we have schnapps and tequila. We have schnapps and tequila. To, That's right. To, to get that taste out of our mouth. Yeah. But only if Joe will pay us $50. <laughs> then we'll do schnapps and tequila again. Ugh. I don't know if I can do it tonight, man. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll do some rum, but I... Oh, yeah. No, well, he, he he's not here anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, let's see. Uh... Hi, Dawsgeld. So you said good night. So good night, everyone. Uh, we got one more bit of tech news. Yeah, one more bit. Um... So, okay, we're good. Um, Microsoft who runs DirectX, if yes, they, you didn't know, yeah. Microsoft is, or DirectX is a Microsoft product, um, has announced that ray tracing is coming to DirectX 12. Um, what, if you think of what, how a video card draws the landscape, and I wish I had, there's a, there's a real cool animated GIF of uh, Just Cause 3 and a couple other games right. where it shows the, the conical yeah, pattern that, how, that's how it works, yeah. Basically, what is drawn by your video card is only what you're, what, what your seeing, camera yeah, can what see on the screen. Seeing, yeah. um, and so the video card knows where everything else is at, but it doesn't bother drawing it. Yeah. Um, to, just to save resources, so we can pump as much into displaying what, display, what you can see. Yeah. There's no, there's in no sense in rendering something behind you when you don't need to. Unless it's in VR. <laughs> Unless it's VR, yes. I guess. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, what ray tracing does is, uh, so you can kind of see here, here's the example of um, there's an object here, there's an object here that's kind of half in frame and half out of frame, and then two that are in frame. You can see this is typically what a graphics card will draw, is it will ignore anything that is outside of the frame, even partial objects that are outside yeah. of the frame. I've seen this done with trees and mountain ranges and things like mm -hmm. that, where it'll, it'll render a branch, but the tree is missing behind it. Yeah. Um, so it, it's that kind of theory. Again, just to save resources. And you can take that one step further and you can draw up just the front halves of items. Because no one's going to see what's behind it. And I've seen this done in games as well. Um, and it sometimes leads to some quirky graphical mix glitches if there's yeah. anything there. What ray tracing does um, is it draws the entire scene. Yeah. Um, regardless of, um, I almost said irregardless, which is a... That's not a word. That's not a word. Regardless. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know why irregardless is in my vocabulary. And it drives me nuts because I know it's not it's a not word. It's not a word, yes. And, and I've, I've tried to drive it out, but it still just pops up there every once in a while. Um... So what ray tracing is, is it will draw everything that is supposed to be rendered within that scene. Um, well, not only that though, but but what ray because like how current graphics engine work is is mm -hmm. they're they're based on a more of a raster graphic, right? Where um, when you see shadows and where you see lighting and stuff like that, that is just a trick of the eye. It right. is it is um, the engine faking what they think it should look like, right? Whereas ray tracing actually takes. Um, that's why they call it ray tracing, the rays of light mm. and and using the calculations to figure out where those are supposed to bounce back. So you get a much more realistic right. uh, uh, depiction of the scene. Correct. So Shadows, you. lighting, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, we can see some examples of better drawings and... Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a link to a video in here somewhere too right. that actually sh shows... Um, uh, I think it's the Unreal Four engine that uses the ray tracing. I'm not too sure, but is it Unreal or was that? Or maybe maybe it was Frostbite. I don't remember. No, I think it was Unreal. I think you're right. Yeah, but I do know Unreal Four is going to support it, and Frostbite's going to support it. Yeah, Frostbite it. supports it. Electronic Arts Seed, Unreal, 3D Mark, Unity. Uh, Unity. So, um, but kind of an exciting thing that's coming it to is. DirectX 12. It's it's um, ray tracing has always been uh, kind of the, the pie holy, in the, the sky, the holy grail. Yeah. Of, of, of 3D, re real-time ray tracing mm -hmm. it has been um, 
It's I, it's one of the things that when you go to a like a Pixar animated movie, yeah, that's all right. Why traced. why they look so much better than your yeah. 3D animated graphics yeah. on your computer do is because those are ray traced. Yeah, uh, in the, fact, those are rendered frame by frame to interpret every bit of light and every yeah. reflection and every detail and full resolution textures yeah. that they possibly can to render the scene accurately. Right. But of course, it takes like an hour and a half to render one frame. Right. You don't want to be playing a game at one frame per hour and a half. Right. So, uh, but... but Counter, uh, Counter-Strike by mail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> the thing is, is, is that is that there's, there's you know, as, as far as modern game engines have gone there's still like limitations to it right i don't know if you guys have ever noticed but you know if you ever encounter a mirror or reflective surfaces in a modern game mm-hmm. they don't really work right or they kind Correct. of kind of fake an image to them, whereas ray tracing would fix that a lot of time they will fake an image yeah. um so you'll see yourself in the reflection but you won't cast a shadow or you won't or it'll be blurred or, or it'll, be, it'll be like yeah, yeah. It'll, be, it'll be a blurry image yeah. um uh duke nukem did this yes they uh, did back that, in yeah. the original day yeah um, well, where, Duke Nukem wasn't a true 3D engine. Anyway, yeah, they, but, they they just rendered a sprite yes. in in space behind yes. there. That, yeah. yeah, but but yeah, it's it's usually a trick of the rendering process, not necessarily a true mirror, mirror image. image. Yes, uh, but with ray tracing, they can actually they can make an object imagery. reflective and yeah. make it trace. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it makes it actually it makes development a little bit easier too mm-hmm. because they can instead of like trying to fake the shadows of an object, they just say, okay, this is an object and it's solid. Mm-hmm. And then the engine will automatically cast a shadow because of it. Correct. Same thing with like mirrored images or maybe even, you know, translucent images. Right. Here's a ball. It's made of crystal. Okay. Boom. Boom. The light's going to go through it and it's going to refract the way it should. Yep. And they don't have to trick it to make it look like that. Right. So it's pretty exciting how far DirectX will actually utilize ray tracing is kind of unknown. Right, and, and what developers will start integrating it in. Yes. Because it is a it is a development shift yes. as far as how they're building right. these games. And it's a very, very demanding technology. Yes. And in fact, the examples that they were giving, it, it, it looked nice. Mm-hmm. And if you guys go in and watch the video, it's it's a really good yeah. video. It looks nice, but it's it's very cartoony. It's very mm-hmm. like, like you said, Pixar-ish. Pixar, right. yeah, um, it's not realistic. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I think that there's, there's gonna, you're gonna see some really nice effects from these things, but I don't think you're gonna get too much realism out of it mm-hmm. right off the bat until it maybe progresses as a, as a newer technology. Correct. But I, I am excited for it because ray tracing has been like on the lips of development, has yeah. been like a thing for, you know, 3D graphics and for games for the longest time. Yep. All right. Um, what else we gotta talk about? Whatever we want, because I think that was the last thing. That does it for our list. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Any topics of the week that uh, kind of piqued your interest? We could always dive back into Star Trek. We usually do that. We Yeah, we usually do. Oh! <laughs> what's that? Oh! <laughs> oh I got a new thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, <laughs> the, the blueprints. So, um... Goodwill has an online auction store, which not a lot of people know about. So yes, I do. I've so, been there yeah. several times. So you can basically place one bid on an item and you'll get it. Uh, yeah. the, the shipping's a little extreme, so if, uh, if you pay if like $5 for an item, it'll be like $13 in shipping. Um, but uh, So I got this this week. This is the Enterprise D Blueprints. So if you ever want to reconstruct your own That's right. Enterprise D, you're going to need this. You're going to need this. Uh, without exactly, it, you're going to be completely lost. That's exactly why I bought it. So let's get to a uh, interesting one here. And these are full-size posters, so I'll probably end up getting a frame to hold all these in, and then I'll just kind of like cycle through them on the channel. So here is one of the the sections. Yeah. And I think there's like 20 of these in here. Have you have you found any bathrooms? Um, in, you know, the I haven't looked. Um. Because this is the Jeffrey's tube. We're looking at the center section. Yeah. So behind the deflector. Well, you got to think that on every level. I mean, you think of modern modern buildings now. They have a bathroom on right. every level. Right. There should be a bathroom somewhere mm-hmm. on the Enterprise. Well, we've got crew quarters around here, and yeah. so yeah, there's there's uh, there's bathrooms right there. And so there's bathrooms. Uh, how in the do you, how do you know those are bathrooms though? I'm, I'm just, assuming there's a couple of sinks there. I don't know what those are. Those are just lines. Well, that, that's a table and a bed. I think they just beam the poop out. Right. I think they just they just press a button. And there's a little transporter what is, what is beam. This, what is this room here? You're telling me that's a janitor's closet? 
Because I mean, here's a quarter. That looks, that, that looks like that looks like coffee. T- I mean, people can't even see. Right, this. I we know. got our heads buried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this is great video. Yeah, this is so. <laughs> so, so we're looking at this section right here. Right now. <laughs> uh, but we got a turbo lift pass through there. Yeah, there oh go. yeah, I yeah. get that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I, I I know all of this is not. Is it a table? I mean, because it's repeated several times here. I don't right. know what that is. It could be just yeah. spars. It's, it's blueprints, but I don't think it's like to the detail where you can like right. con- reconstruct it. They're just like somebody's... In, it's like, oh, let's rubber stamp this all over the place. Cause right, it exactly. Like, oh, we, we have a... Oh, is, that, is there, is there a, a key? A, a key. Oh, We've got a key. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, it does say what that was. Yeah. So it was... Uh, what is it? It says it's an electric... Electrical filter, large. Okay. Let's go see if there's a key for a bathroom. <laughs> so sensor group, command, and you, control. Uh, space urinals. Space urinals. Let's see. Fluid handling group. Oh, that might okay. Be in there. Yeah, that would, maybe. Maybe oh, I don't see that. Could be water, though, too. Spacecraft elements. Some kind power of group, s- sensor sanitation. Atmosphere. No, this is all systems. <laughs> I know this is a great video. Yeah, it's it's riveting. <laughs> That's just riveting. Um... Oh, let's see. You're not gonna, um, you're not going to see this on. on tells you what your what your standard uh, yeah. high energy fluids lab. That's usually what mine okay. is. Okay, <laughs> it comes high, flying it's out. It's high energy fluids. It comes yes, flying out. Mine's, <laughs> I drink a lot of Mountain Dew. It's going to sure. be high energy. <laughs> so yeah, you'll probably see that up on the wall here before too long. That's um, cool. I got this for seven bucks. Yeah. Plus like thirteen dollars shipping. So. so speaking of Star Trek, so I was yeah. I was like I was telling I was archiving a bunch of my games and stuff like that. So I came across a lot of Star Trek. Old Star Trek games. What was your favorite old Star Trek game? Because uh, they don't they don't make them anymore. They don't, they don't have any. I think Star Trek Online is probably the most modern Star Trek game they have. It was the Star Trek: The Next Generation. It was the uh, Starfleet Command. No, Starfleet was, Command Two. Before that, it was before that. Yeah, um, it was DOS based game. It was the first Next Generation game. It was a point and click style adventure. No, they didn't have a next they generation did. point and click they one. Did. They had they had the they had the, they the, had original, the original series one. They had one from Next Generation. And I'm trying to remember I don't remember if they Judgment did. Judgment rights? You I think you might be right. I think you might be right. Judgment rights. I think you're right. I have Judgment the disc rights. stuff. So Judgment rights, yes. So I don't yeah. have that one. Yeah. I don't have that you one. You don't. I don't think I it's do. It's worth a playthrough. I have the I have the adventure ones with the original series yeah. cast. Yeah, and I played through I those. Play that one, those, yeah. those are pretty solid. Yeah, they're good. Um, that and the the next generation SNES game was also pretty good. The Super Nintendo. I don't remember that one either. Yeah, that one was more of an action game. Mm-hmm. Um, you would get a mission and then you'd completely ignore it and travel to random planets and just blow them up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I I played a lot of the uh, of the Starfleet Command. Yeah. One and two. Yeah. Those, those I one. did that. I did uh, Bridge Commander. A little bit, yeah. Uh, or Starfleet Command, I Starfleet guess it was. Command, yeah. yeah. I know Bridge Commander is probably newer than than Star Trek Online. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what do we think uh, about the ledger flaw found by the fifteen year old? I saw the headline for that article. I, I didn't read that one. I have no knowledge of it. Let me look it up real quick. Oh, that's right. He found the flaw in the uh, the crypto, crypto wallets. Wallet. Uh, yeah, fifteen year old found a uh, a way to break into the uh, um, USB wallets. Uh, basically, found a hardware flaw in the wallets and, and break what into is, it. What does the flaw do? Steal just... all your Bitcoin. Oh, so you can steal it. You can't yeah. like fake it to say right. like yeah. Right. Um, oh, and uh, there was also a headline this week that at some point there was a flaw in the Ethereum based system where you could have get just given yourself free coins. Oh, <laughs> well, I would have liked that would have been good. Apparently, no, no one but exploited that, it, but, they, fa- could, but they, they found the potential vulnerability. They, they that, could, that could be why maybe the value is going down. <laughs> uh, it could be. Maybe people don't find that little, as little much inflation faith in the coming there. At you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, someone found a fifteen-year-old uh, found a flaw in the in the ledgers used for uh, for Bitcoin. In the little crypto wallet things yep. that they got in there. Yep, I do remember reading that. Um, I uh, like I said, I didn't go in depth into the article. Um, I think bravo for a 15 year old to find a security flaw. That's yeah. awesome. And I guess the flaw. Well, was... I don't know. I think I think my <laughs> my one and a half year old like messes with my phone and figures out stuff that I have no idea. I have a smartwatch. My nine month old 
can get to menus that I did not know existed. Yeah, I know. So it's like, he's probably just like, he's like, oh, crap. Seriously, I, I'm I holding her, and she likes looking at my watch, and so I'll hold the watch up for her. Oh, you like Daddy's watch? How did you do that? Yeah, I know. Like, she's all of a sudden on to, like, changing my background, and she did it from, like, a hotkey swipe on the... On the phone. I've read the documentation. I've read that from beginning to end. Yeah. I don't know how she gets there. I know. Kids kids just find <laughs> the weirdest ways of, of like destroying electronics. And, and I'm like, good with this stuff. It's like, not like I'm... I don't know how they got there. <laughs> yeah. How did they get that? Yeah, these kids these days. I know. <laughs> like, I, I want my kids to be smarter than me, but I wanted like three years of being smarter yeah, I don't want them that. to be accidentally smarter. Right. Than That's just They'll find these things <laughs> by just slapping it around a little bit. <coughs> hmm. uh, look for the thing shaped like a toilet bowl. <laughs> so, Klingon Academy was great. Klingon. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, because oh, yep. I can't. What was the uh, not Klingon Academy, but um, there was the one Klingon game that was based on the Unreal Engine. Uh, it came out slightly after Unreal came out. Uh, no, there. Oh, there was. Uh, Elite Force. No, that was that was, that was way after. after. That, that was, was after. after. Elite yeah. Force was okay. <coughs> and there was Elite Force 2. Yeah. Uh, Both I that, thought were great games. Those were okay. I liked Elite Force. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, Klingon Honor Guard. I Honor think Guard. Was, I think it was yeah. Honor Guard. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was, it was based on the Unreal Engine. Yep. And it wasn't that great. Yeah. I didn't really <laughs> like it that much. Uh, what do I think of Star Trek Discovery? Uh, we've talked about this before. Um, <clears throat> if it wasn't Star Trek, I'd like it. Yeah. Uh, there's there are a few episodes in this last season that were reminiscent of Star Trek, Star Trek, right? But for the most part, it seemed like to non Star. It just seemed like some random sci fi show. Here's the thing: they that, just try to pump a bunch of right here's, action in there. Here's my problem with Discovery: is they're taking Star Trek canon and they're just throwing it out the window. Mm -hmm. They're going, oh, Klingons are like sparkly all of a sudden, and they don't actually speak this language. They speak something else, and yeah. they do this, and they do that. No, oh, Klingons are well established. Don't yeah. mess with Klingons. Yeah. Um, my problem is that modern TV expects results today. They, yeah. they expect every single episode to be a cliffhanger, to be edge of your seat. Oh, I have to watch the next episode. Go back and watch through a series of, of Star Trek. Well, yeah, there, there were always, there were always, well, okay, until it got to Enterprise. Enterprise had some overarching right. um, um, storylines. And, and, and DS9 had some overarching storylines. They, they did, they, they had they the, did. the whole Dominion But they did, it, they did it well, though. They, they did, did it, it very well. well. Yeah. But, but the thing with Star Trek is they were 25 episode seasons. Yeah. And they could take 12 of those and do nothing but character development. Yeah. Where all they're doing is they're taking a deep dive into, oh, how does this make Kira Norris mm -hmm. feel? Or how is she a better right. person now? You know what? That was that was what I didn't like. And it, it immediately turned me off to um, Discovery. Is that in, like, in the very first scene, mm -hmm. it, the dialogue in that scene just made it seem like you should like these characters. Right. You, you need to love these characters. Yep. And it's like, well, why? Why should I like these characters? I have no investment in these I characters. I have no investment in these characters, but but the dialogue next, and the story... Next generation of DS9 to... spent four years making me like these yes, characters I know. so they could tell a, a three-year story. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like once you get to know the characters, right. then you get invested in this. But but like right away, there was there was conflict and strife and... Yeah. and, and Yep. Death. I don't want to give any spoilers, but but I mean, like in, for, in the first episode, right? And like, I don't care. It's it, it doesn't the, doesn't, the, it doesn't it, help me any. Enterprise and Discovery remind me a lot of um, Suicide Squad. I didn't watch Suicide Squad. I haven't okay. watched that one yet. Here's my problem with Suicide really Squad. Suicide yet. Squad follows the same thing, yeah. but in a two-hour load of crap. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I'm still waiting for I've DC. had two hour loads of crap before too I'm, I'll just I'm let you know I'm still waiting for DC to make a decent movie yeah no, it, wasn't, it wasn't just as, well uh, Wonder Woman was okay it was okay it was okay it was, okay. It was decent. decent it was okay okay I'll give you that one yeah um, here's the problem with Suicide Squad uh, if you haven't seen it I'm gonna spoil it for you I don't care it's not worth watching anyway yeah. um, opening scene uh, there's some FBI lady and another guy sitting at a table at like this fancy Chinese restaurant right and uh, and she's pulling out these files out, out of like her handbag. She's like, okay, we need to get this one right here. Oh, her, she's a bad, she's bad news, man. She's, oh man, she, you don't want to mess with her. Yeah. It then flashes to a five minute origin story of Harley Quinn. Okay. Look, okay. So, so nope. I'm supposed to be now invested yeah. in Harley Quinn. Okay. And then it passes that one along. And then they, she reaches down her handbag, 
Oh, oh, this guy. No, no, no. We don't want him. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Uh, but, but he's a bad man. Let me tell you, he's a bad man. And then it goes to a five-minute origin story of Pac-Man. Right, Pac -Man. right. And then the past that file on. So they spend 30 minutes doing like these five-minute snippet origin right, stories. Right, right. They have told no story to this point, nor yeah. have they done any character development on anyone that's involved Just in Just rubber stamps on them. I don't know yeah. who these people are. I don't know why I should it's, care. It's the exact opposite of the, of the MCU, the, the, Marvel, right. the Marvel Universe, where they took multiple movies to right. establish these characters before they brought them right. together. Right, and, and that's exactly why Star Trek works, is, yeah. is they'll take five episodes to establish why Jean-Luc Picard is struggling the way he's struggling. Yeah. Or, or Riker is going through this hard strike, or why Miles O'Brien is having a hard time adjusting to station life because his wife Keiko doesn't like it on the station. <laughs> they, they will take those times to investigate marital strife to tell a bigger story. Oh, O'Brien's such a <laughs> cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Just fix the damn teleporter. <laughs> Transport, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but Suicide Squad, so they do a 30-minute intro on the characters. They then set all that aside. Then she walks into like the office of the CIA and she gives the same origin story, but this time with three added characters who I didn't know who they were before. Right. Yeah. So I'm like 40 minutes in. I don't know who anyone is, what the story is. And you don't care about them. Either. I don't care. Yeah. I don't know who this lady is who's walking into this office. Yeah. I don't know what office she's walking into. Yeah. But all I know is we're going to go steal a witch. They go steal the witch. The witch goes haywire. Um, they then in, they then go pull all these people out of prison, plus four more people that they didn't bother to introduce with the other 12. Yeah. And then you don't even know who they and are. I don't even you don't know care. who they are. Yeah. Um, and, and the whole story is just an absolute mess. And then. To, to your point about killing someone, about an hour into the hour and twenty minutes into the movie, they off one of the bad guys. And you're like, oh, like I'm supposed to like, yeah, they, like care. they literally introduce him and then kill him two minutes later. Yeah, like that's supposed to be the heroic sacrifice or the one that brings the team together. No, like, no. <laughs> I don't give two shits yeah. about that guy. Yeah, man. there's 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 not much there's not much character development going on with a lot of these. I mean, like yeah, the the, the Marvel the Marvel universe they did a good job because yeah. they took time to make movies about these characters, right. individual characters. Iron before. Man was a great movie. Yes, Amer uh, Captain America. Captain America was a great movie. Um, Hulk or not Hulk? Uh, nah, not Hulk Thor was a great movie. Thor was a good one. Um, Ant Man was even pretty good. Yeah, I didn't mind Ant Man. Yeah, it was okay. I like um, Paul Rudd. No, I like Paul Rudd. I'll, I'll Paul watch, Rudd's. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll watch anything. Celery, these Celery Man. That's Just, right. Did you ever watch that? The, the little skit with Celery. I don't think I did. You never watched. I don't that? think I did. <laughs> look, look, do do a Google search for Paul, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd Celery Man. Celery Man. I'll, yeah, I'll that's do that great. off air. I, yeah, do it off air. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Disney coming down on me for copyright. <laughs> no, it's not Disney. Yeah, it's oh. Adult Swim. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the same page now. Uh, mm-hmm. Adult Swim. Yeah. Not picking up Rick and Morty for a fourth season. I yeah. Okay, they, they didn't say they're not. They just have not announced Dan it. Dan Harmon came out and said they didn't. When did he say that? Yesterday. He said that they haven't yet. They have not picked up for did, a fourth season. Okay, did he did he say they that? They have not said they have declined. Right. They, okay, they that's said, the thing. We have not been that picked up. It does not make any season. sense that they wouldn't. Right. Because okay, it it, it, it was great ratings for them. It, it is a commercial ratings. success. It is a huge commercial success. Right. Depending, say, on, depending on the cost of development. Right. Okay. There's always that back and, and forth. That could be, that could be what they're getting. Because like, if you look at the names that they're getting, like watch the guest star list yeah. in there, they're getting big names. Well, the, I mean, but you you see like, you see like, you know, Simpsons and all that. They get big, big guest they star They get names. big names too, but Simpsons can write their own check. I, I understand I don't think that. Rick and Morty's to that point, especially with Adult Swim backing. Adult Swim's a big, right. a big media company. No, I company, get that. I, but here's the but, thing. I think, I think Rick and Morty is... is I don't want to sound like one of those, oh, I'm so intelligent because I understand. No, I don't. But I do think they are better writing than Simpsons are now. I Simpsons, think they are too. Yeah, Simpsons back in the day, agree. they had some really good writing, yep. but now not so much. Yep. Rick and Morty obviously has much better writing now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they yeah. would be... I mean, there's got to be some kind of financial thing going on because they, they'd, be, they'd be dumb not to pick it up right away. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, again, I mean... I, ha I hate to dive into speculative because I, I, I like It to... seems super speculative right now. It does. Um, but when Dan Harmon says he's having a hard time Dan, getting around Dan, to writing it. Dan, Dan Harmon is is kind of a controversial character anyway. Yes. Have you have you watched his um, uh, his um, uh, Harmon Quest? Have you watched that show yet? Harmon Quest. This is Dan Harmon. Same, mm -hmm. same Rick and Morty. Right, right. right yeah. I, I know I have to have seen it. 
It's great. You have to watch it. Yeah. If, if you if anybody's like a D and D pen and paper okay type of old school gaming type of guy, I'm gonna look that up too. You have to watch <laughs> Harmon Quest. It, it's basically Dan Harmon mm-hmm. and 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 two other regulars that wow. are on the show all the time, and then a fourth guest star, okay. comedian typically, right? Some, someone with a little ad. Someone who can carry something. Yeah, someone who right. can carry something. And and they 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 play on stage. A live game of Dungeons and Dragons. They nice. actually have a dungeon master who rolls dice, nice, and everything. Uh, but but the the catch is when you watch it, they there's animators that animate the story that they're creating. Oh, nice! It's great. I have it not is, seen that. It is, will, you, you haven't seen that? I have not. I As highly recommend it. it. It sounds amazing. I highly recommend. And it. I'm going back through my memories, going yeah. no. No, no, you have to no. watch it. You have to watch it. Okay. I think I have season one or two at home yeah. somewhere. Uh, that reminds me a lot of uh, when. Uh, what does that show or the the game Artemis the Star Star Trek Bridge Simulator the unofficial Bridge Simulator oh right right um uh Will Wheaton did a uh, a piece on stage where he brought a crew on stage and they flew one of the ships oh um, right right and so, and so uh and so Will Wheaton was the captain and yeah. and and they're flying this ship and, and he's giving these weird orders and whatnot mm-hmm. and at one point he goes yo man captain needs a bourbon yeah. captain needs a bourbon on the double <laughs> A double bourbon on the captain? Yeah, like, double bourbon on the captain. Captain asks, you give. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing they got... So it would have been St. Paul, though. It wouldn't have gotten him drunk. Right. Because they... Oh, uh, no, the captain brings his own stash on board. Captain wants, captain gets. No, they the only... The, okay, there's there's not too many... The Only the, the original generation, mm-hmm. the, the original series where they actually had alcohol, because Scotty had... Scotty had Scott, a scotch. Scott, right, he... His name's Scotty. He's right. has scotch, right? And he had some old uh, scotch. Yeah. And uh, and they had the Tranya. Yeah. Try the Tranya. Yeah. Yeah. But well, they, in, br- they bring the Romulan out. And they brought the Romulan out, yeah. But but in the next generation, it was all synthol. It was synthol, right. So it wasn't real alcohol. We, it didn't get you drunk. Right. It tasted like it. Yeah. But it didn't didn't get no, you, which son, is this dumb. Son, that's yeah, dumb. I, I've lived for 150 yeah. years, and I can tell you, that is not scotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did. They had that episode yeah, had, where had Scotty, Scotty came back. Yeah. 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 And uh, synthetic commanders. Synthetic, yeah. Or, or it's like it's scotch like scotch synthetic commanders. The, the old duels of scotch. Yes. It's like, ugh, man, what is this stuff? Synthetic scotch. Yeah. Synthetic commanders. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do we think about the expanse? I love the expanse. Yeah. I actually just finished the last, uh, the the most recent book of the expanse <laughs> with Jim Holden and the yep. Rosinante. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Very I, good I don't read nearly as much as many books as I want to. Um, uh, I I do some books on tape. Yeah. Um, but I. I used to do that. I used to do that I, when I was. I, when I, I used to have a commute up yeah. to up to uh, Portland. I've, I've got a commute. I do a lot of podcasts. I, yeah. I listen to a lot of. What do you um, What do you listen to? Um, I do a lot of the Nerdist podcast. Mm. Um, I, I love the uh, uh, Tested podcast. Adam Savage. Yeah. Uh, um, I, th- those are really my two go tos. Um, cause they get into some really good discussions, both literature, movies, tech, yeah. making, um, and, and then you get the Nerdist podcast who gets some really good guests on yeah. there. Um, and it, it's just fantastic. I like, I like one of my favorites to listen to cause I don't, I don't really listen to any podcasts. I don't go anywhere anymore. I work from home. Mm-hmm. So I don't I commute anymore. Oh, the dream. So, yes, I know. It's, it's quite awesome. I like <laughs> I get it's like one day it's like four or five in the afternoon and I walk outside and my neighbor's like why are you still in your pajamas because I can that's right because I can be in my that's pajamas right. I don't care what are you talking about I've been yeah. at work all day yeah, I've been working all day <laughs> no but I uh, but but and, and I can't I can't listen to podcasts while I'm working because right. I gotta concentrate on, yep. on coding and stuff yep. like that it's just not it just becomes background noise at yeah that I, so, I, so listening to music's okay I, I can do music without lyrics right yeah even even with lyrics yeah. it's fine I don't care but like I can't, I can't anything that's got a storyline or anything like that. I, I can't do because yep. it just it just becomes I don't I can't follow it. Yeah, I get distracted. But like when I'm cleaning around the house, mowing the lawn, then I'll listen to like podcasts or something. I like listening to last podcast on the left. That's that's one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I've listened to that one. Yeah, that was times. good. Um, do you plan on going into other areas of tech like three D printing on the channel or something along those lines? That would be um, cool. I've I would thought like about it. I've thought about printing. it. Um, my biggest struggle right now is I don't have a 3D printer. I, I haven't had the time to set one up. I do know a guy who owns three of them, plus he has an X-Carve. Yeah. Um, so he's pretty heavy into it. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm also uh, part of the team for ModdersInc.com. Um, so we do quite a few modding projects. Uh, so I'm going to try to 
figure out a way to incorporate some of that into yeah. into my area. I'm sure I'll get into a modding project at some point. All right. Um, I'm sure I'll get into a 3D printing project at some point. I don't know if I'm going to go in depth into it though. Um, you can 3D print out figurines that you can glue onto your PC case. Um, <laughs> you can I, get. You can start a trend for hood ornaments for your for I, your PC cases. I have in my head <laughs> yeah. a next generation engineering oh, case yeah. mod. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have exactly the parts that I want for it. I yeah. have exactly the look. I have the LEDs all mapped out. Okay. Via an Arduino. It's gonna be I, like an L cars type of, of interface type of like. No, it's no? gonna be like the engineering set. Oh, oh, it's like gonna be like water the set. cooling. Okay. It's gonna okay. be like the engineering so like the warp core. Okay, I got yeah. you. I got you. Yeah, they they actually have. Um, there's USB chargers that look like the warp, yeah. the next generation warp core. Yeah. I've seen those out there. Yeah, they've got those. They've got the uh, flux capacitor. Yes, it's yeah. on the flux capacitor. Yeah. Yep. So, but yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll probably get into modding to some extent in this channel. Um, and I would like to branch out into other areas of tech. In fact, I think I have a camera piece coming before too long, and I, I have an audio piece coming as well. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where the channel goes. We'll see where, what you guys want to see. If you guys demand 3D printing, by God, I'm going to 3D print something. I think 3D printing would be good. Yeah. And it's just like, like, you go on demand during the stream, like, well, what do you want printed? Right. A dildo? Yeah. Well, okay, tune in next week. It'll be done. <laughs> yeah, it'll be done in the five hours from now. Oh, wait, your size. Okay, 20 yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, no, it would get you buzzed, but the effects are easily reversible. I think he's talking about synth hall. I don't know. Oh, synthahol was was synthahol supposed to get you buzzed? It wasn't supposed to get you buzzed. It was supposed to have no effects. The yeah, I, all of the to, taste. I thought that was I thought that was the whole point of it because yeah. it wasn't you know Starfleet. They're not allowed to get right. like, mind altering whatever. But, but Guinan had some scotch behind the counter. Yeah, that's right. Well, they also had that they had that one episode that was I thought it was a really bad episode where they had that video game that was supposed to like alter your mind <laughs> and it was like the dumbest looking video game wait, ever. Wait. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was one of the worst. That was such a bad episode. And Wesley saved the day. Oh, yeah. That's why it was a bad episode. That's right. <laughs> Shut up, Wesley. Ah, Wesley. I've talked to him online once or twice. He's oh, a nice really? guy. Oh, really? Will Wheaton? Yeah, he's a nice we guy. We should have... Uh, have you had the Woot Stout? Uh, I like, have. Yeah, yeah. I've had a couple bottles oh, of here Woot we go. Stout. Oh, that was a good show. That was a good... <laughs> All I remember is Riker's stone face with that thing on yeah. his, <laughs> his cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think ins insightful talk matters the most. And that's what we're aiming for. Yeah. That's what we're aiming is, for on the channel. We're all about insightful talk. That's right. Especially me. Whether it's 3D printed dildos or... Yeah, whatever. Or Riker's weird sex Yeah, games. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you would think... You would think Star Trek... That... That... The holodeck would, would have to be cleaned... Very frequently <laughs> with holodeck, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Uh, Corks bar. He's got his hollow sweets. Oh yeah, that, that'd be even worse. Yeah. Yeah, he probably yeah. has. I mean, given given the technology, he had some special they, programs. They probably going have on. some just nozzles that come out like deep clean everything as soon as everybody leaves. You got door. Yeah. The doors close <laughs> and you got the <laughs> siren going up. Yeah. Do not enter. Yeah. Yeah. You got to imagine what kind of. I mean, because like you know. It, it, Porn's always at the forefront of technology. That's right. If holodecks were ever invented, you know, you know, what the, you know what the very first two. thing application-wise it's going to be used for. That's right. Yeah, exactly. What's one of the most popular things in VR? I see you're in Steam VR, but you have a browser open. Yeah. Here? What is that? What is that? What are you doing that? Weird. For? Yeah. And it was only for for about two minutes. <laughs> oh, that was it. Oh. Well. <laughs> Uh, 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in fact, cork suits are smash or sweets are smashed frequently. Yeah, they probably are. Yeah. Especially when the Klingons. Come yeah, they get there. I hear they, they're a little rough on the hollow sweets. Well, no, I think if, if, well, I mean, it's probably not that often, but they got, they got some, some Vulcan with the pond far. They can tear the place up, <laughs> but it's only like Good reference. Yeah. <laughs> Reaching into the back corners for that one. <laughs> yeah, I was going. I, I knew that. I knew he was always upset when the Klingons came by, and he hated when the Cardassians were overtaken because yeah. the Cardassians didn't bite anything. I always thought that that would be a good geeky cologne to make. And yeah. Just name it Ponfar. Yeah. Ponfar. 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 
new fragrance from Craft Computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 if dun, I ever dun, branch dun, out into merchandising, which there's some stuff on the yeah. way, I know I've been saying that for a while, but there is some stuff on the way. Yeah. I'm finishing up some design work. Well, yeah, you got the you got the the bottle got opener. The bottle yeah. opener, and I got a T-shirt in the making oh, all right. as well. So, so if you guys like the channel, uh, there will be opportunities to support the channel through buying my crap. Oh yeah, <laughs> and it will be crap. And it will be no. It will be. <laughs> no, I actually specifically sourced a bottle opener that I would carry on my keychain, and I like, and will actually open bottles. It's not some cheesy aluminum piece of crap that you get at the corner market for a dollar. Speaking of opening bottles, I'm. I'm completely empty. Are you completely empty? Yeah. Do we have another thing? We do. We... I've got some uh, some reserves over here. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, if, if I don't want to open another twenty-two, right? Unless unless there's the red chair. You which... know, we got the we got the cider. You want to try the uh, the atlas? Which which atlas is it? Uh, let me see. We're I mean, gonna go look at some I atlas cider. Oh, I've had that one. Have you? Oh yeah, I've had I've had all the atlas ciders. Uh, Let's let's do let's do the um you want to try you want to try the nut crusher? We can do nut crusher. Okay, let's do nut. Crusher. I got horchata. <laughs> no, we're not doing horchata. <laughs> uh, mm. You could just put that on reserve. That's what I'm like, gonna yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna slam it. So this is this is a peanut butter mm. stout, or is it a peanut butter porter? Uh, it's peanut butter porter. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the uh, nut crusher from yeah. uh, Wild Ride Brew. Uh, they're local, aren't they? Uh, Redmond. Uh, Redmond, yeah. Yep. Just, well, Redmond's not that local. They're, they're Oregon. southern Oregon, but Oregon. yeah. Yep. There you go. All right. For that. Just a little bit of this wild ride. I'm really glad I don't work tomorrow. Oh, really? I don't. What do you got, like a like a five-day weekend coming up? Or uh, you just four took day. tomorrow? Four yep. day. Yeah. Thursday you, through Sunday. Are you going to, like... Uh, Use your free time to make more videos, or I'll probably crank out a couple of videos. I'll yeah. probably put one in reserves just so I've got one. Um, but I got I'm, one in the chamber. I'm hoping to have a new video out tomorrow. Um, so I'll be sure to download it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> what is this garbage you keep cranking out? I want to see some quality entertainment. This guy just won't go away. Oh my god. I mean, he keeps keeps getting better cameras and lenses. <laughs> Who does he think he is? He's got a wood handle his camera. What kind of Hipster doofus does he think he is? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, any projects coming up for the channel that I could share? Build projects? More things like NAS and Plex or PF Sense? Uh, PF Sense would be an interesting one. That would be interesting. Um, you know what would be fun to do? I'm hesitant to get into PF Sense for the simple fact that I typically target... Uh, David, $2. Thank you, buddy. Hey, all right. Um, I typically target more of an entry-level user. I, I know some of the stuff that I do is is kind of advanced, but um, my videos I like to think of as using the pen and Teller method, no. where I give the exact terminology, and if you Google that terminology, you'll get the you'll answer get the you're, answers looking you're looking for. for yeah. um, so if I talk about DHCP, I either expect you to have an understanding of DHCP, or I give you the term DHCP so you, so can, you can go, go look, look it up and you can figure it out. Protocol. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, um, so, but PF Sense. At its basic level is a firewall. The problem is when you get into, okay, well now I can't get into this website. I'm sorry, you need to know PF sense. sense. Yeah, you have to go in there and tinker with it. Exactly, and so you you really you need have to, to know, have some in-depth knowledge about what's going on. You need to know the finer workings of yeah. a firewall configuration to yeah. get into that because PF sense, at its basic level, you can install it and it'll pretty much work. But the second you have a problem, you need a a vast depth of knowledge of of it, networking and routing and rules and protocols and everything. Well, so, I mean, for the most part, it's going to be going through the HTTP port, right? For for the most part, for the it most is, part. but let's say your TeamSpeak server doesn't work all no, of a sudden. No, yeah, all of a sudden, because you got a different port, you got to exactly. open up and port forward. And, and how do I that. open a port and that, and how do yeah. I forward, and what's the right port to open, and mm -hmm. what services should I allow? And it, So I, I don't know that I'm going to get into PF Sense because I do that for a living, and I'm, I'm good at it, but I, I don't know that I'd necessarily be good at explaining it, and I don't know that, that that's my clientele. Um, so it would be would be fun is is like because I know you have quite a few Raspberry Pi boards. Mm -hmm. Find some Raspberry Pi. I've been projects looking for a Raspberry like Pi that. project. Um, Should do like a retro Pi. Would be kind of fun. I might do that. Uh, there's Pi actually an opportunity coming up for that in a future video. Oh, there we go. There's an opportunity for that. Um, let's see. Uh, I finally bought something that people have been asking for since my very first video. Steve, what was my very first video? 
It wasn't the beer one with John? It wasn't the beer. No, <laughs> was, that was, that was my fourth. I was oh, four. What was your very first video? It's been so long. Where's where's my very first video? Uh, was my knockoff X seventy nine Chinese that wasn't motherboard. Your, that wasn't your first that one. Was first. That was your first popular one. That was my first. Oh, was it? My first, and it got popular. Oh, okay. Well, then that was your first. It one. crossed two hundred. I know you were doing. You were doing ago. another. You were doing another uh, Chinese knockoff the motherboard. right? Yep. Yes. Um, I ago. am. Uh, I finally bought a Chinese X fifty eight motherboard. Oh, there you because go. Because people have been asking me to test this. Mm -hmm. I've been resistant to testing it. Um, because it's another hundred dollars I have to spend. I, I found one at a decent price. I found one for 77. Even better. Even better. It's a good price. I've been resistant to testing it because I have some reservations about how well X58 has held up to modern inexpensive chips. So I actually went all out. I have an X5690. Ooh. This is <laughs> the literal best chip, chip you can get that you that can board. possibly buy for, for a 1366 board. socket. Yeah. I, I have the chip. So you just I'm better hope for the that board. that board is... Okay. Cross your fingers. So it's going to be... The board will work. I, I know the board will work. Are you, it's a Chinese knockoff. I don't, there's, there's, always, there's always an element... I'm two for two. I'm two for two. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm two for two on Chinese knockoffs. I'm going. Well, I'm not I'm saying it's like three. Vegas odds here, right. but I mean, you know, there's there's not a guarantee. There's always a chance. Yes. Um, this one, I'll say that the power delivery looks a little sketchy on mm -hmm. it. It's like a four phase or something like that. Oh yeah, it's not bad. quite a little. Yeah, so it's not going to be able to crank out a ton of of heat or a, a ton of power to it, yeah. but it should be able to power this. Um, but I'm going to put it up against a chip that you will not see coming. Uh, and I've already done some rudimentary tests. The chip that I have in mind testing this against beats the living hell out of this thing. Really? Yep. So it's, this is this is. This and they're is, the same price. Oh, this is a big teaser then. Yep. So this that's your teaser. teaser. I bought a, a Chinese X58 motherboard. It's not going to be a traditional review, but it will be an overview of the X58 system against a modern platform. Um, I'll give an that's overview of the board. But a comparable should cost. you buy an X58 system today? That's going to be the video. That'll be a good one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Because I think I know the answer to it, but... We're going to see. Until you get into the benchmarks and you get into the nitty gritty, you don't know. You don't know. Which is why... You have perceptions, benchmarks. right? You right. obviously have so. perceptions. Uh, do I want to overclock it? I will overclock this one because people you have can't, always been asking you me to can't, do this. Yeah, you can't... All can. contrary. Well, especially if you're, if you're talking about... Comparing it to, you know, will you can, right. you can buy this, but if I can overclock it, will right. perform? Yeah, right. Um, so, a lot of people ask me to overclock the X79 boards. I never did, and I, and I don't recommend doing that on these boards because I would. of the power delivery. Yes. It's sketchy. It makes me. Uh, gonna, it makes you me burn cringe. your house down. Right. right burn my house down or fry a chip yeah. kind of thing. Um, and so I don't recommend overclocking on those boards. You're going to get enough performance out of them anyway. What, yeah. what do you need? Another, an extra 10 FPS? Is that really going to make or break the game for you? No. If it's 50 versus 60? I eh, need that on Minecraft. Care. Right. <laughs> right. Um, so I am going to overclock this chip, though. This is a 3.46 gigahertz, 6 core, 12 thread. I am going to overclock this. I'm hoping to get like 3.7 or 3.8. Just a moderate yeah. overclock. Um, uh, I've heard of these hitting 4.0. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'd, I'd like to get 3.7. Just give it a couple extra 100 megahertz. 4.0 is probably a bit of a stretch. It's a yeah, bit of a stretch, yeah. especially on this board. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be doing that one. Um, I also have a number of things on the way from Wish, because you guys like oh. that knockoff video <laughs> so much. Uh, that's, all, that's all full of Wish. Um, the... Uh, Let's see, the, the the most recent trend on Wish, now this wasn't happening when I did my original video, but a couple weeks after, they started selling video cards for $1. Oh my God. Okay. $1. What? I bought four of them <laughs> from four different vendors. And that'd be interesting. Actually. So that's going to be an unboxing and testing what if there's you, anything to test. They're probably like, what, four... 60s maybe oh you, think? you are on completely the wrong track do you think so you think it's like worse than that i got a shipping notice for one of them and i know what one of them is already and oh you'll never guess like 8800 you're not even on the right track what is what okay you're what thinking too electrical oh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that, that one's going to be a good video as well Okay. That's going to be an unboxing. One dollar, one dollar. No, what do they claim? Um, what do they claim to be though? When, uh, when you I, bought them, I bought a 1050 Ti, a 1066 gig, a 1070 Ti, and a 1080 Ti. I spent seven dollars after shipping. 
Were they, wait, wait. <laughs> was it was it spelled G E E nope. Force nope. with two E's? Nope. It had a picture of a colorful iGame card. Yeah. It, it had the retail box yeah. sitting there, and it said GTX 1080 Ti, dollar plus shipping. Oh, what's shipping? Ninety five cents. Cool. Add to cart. Huh. Yep. I got some of those coming on. Scam unboxing series. Uh, on a greater note, I'm looking at getting a P.O. box. If you guys want to buy scam items and send yeah, them to me, yeah. I'll unbox them on the show. We'll unbox them as kind of a weekly or monthly Some nice, segment nice on here. cheap knockoff yep. reveals. Yep. Let's see what goes on. Yeah, and, if the, and if the product is good enough or va yeah. uh, warrants further testing, we'll test it further yeah. in, a, in a future video. Um, so th those are some things kind of on the horizon. Um, I also have another knockoff component on the way that I haven't dived into How come we can't do knockoff beers? Uh... We live in the wrong region to buy it. I guess Birdweiser is just not exactly something you yeah. go pick up somewhere. In there. <laughs> not around here anyway. Yeah, yeah. It would probably taste the same, though. Birdweiser's pretty <laughs> probably. garbage. Probably. So, uh, AGP cards? That is, uh, no, that's way too old. Uh, I don't think they, they, you can't even get an AGP motherboard nope. anymore. Nope, you can't. No, no, AGP went out of style in 2006. That was, yeah, the, not even before then, I think. Uh, you could still get AGP in 2006. In fact, uh, that was when PCI Express was first coming out. Yeah. Um, but there there were still boards that were made. In fact, you can go all the way up to a 3870 AMD card with an AGP slot. Oh, really? Yeah. But they made some pretty, what I consider modern. I'm going, God, that was 11 years ago. Yeah. Was, <laughs> uh, I remember when AGP first came out, it yep. was just like, because like before it was all just... Uh, Knock off well, CPU coolers? Nope, you're wrong. No. Keep guessing. Give on. Uh, what I should do, I have an extra 64 gigs of DDR3 and was looking at an X79, or should I just get a Threadripper 1900X? I was thinking Threadripper, a better upgrade path. Get Threadripper. Get a Threadripper. Yeah, if you have the funds available, get a Threadripper. Yeah, get that. Um, I can, I, this is a Threadripper 1900X behind me. I love it. Um, and in fact, uh, I'm moving, I've been doing my video editing on my Mac Pro for a number. For, Aren't you getting rid of it? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about selling the Mac Pro. Oh, yeah. Um, Simply because... It's a Mac. It's good. Well... <laughs> Ooh. Engage in fisticuffs. Here yeah. we come. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at moving to that simply for workflow. Uh, simply for um, better video card support, better driver support, yeah. um, and screaming faster processors. I mean... A, a pair of 5650s versus a uh, an overclocked 1900X. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd much it's rather no be on that. Um, plus, that'll be my my main uh, video gaming system. I'm going to have the 1900X with the 1080 in there um, or possibly future graphics cards as soon as I get them. Whoever knows when that's going to come. Whoever knows when that's going to yeah. come. Supposedly um, closer to the end this year. And my Mac Pro, I'm actually looking at selling so I can finance some more things for content for the channel. And I've got an i5-8400 then I'm going to put down here for my streaming system. And that'll just do streaming. So Well, I mean, if you want, like, more funds, just have people bring in cans. Yeah. Because, like, here in Oregon, we get 10 cents. We get 10 cents. So if you guys get 5 cents, that's immediately, if you send it to us, we, we get we get right. 5 cents. But they got to pay for postage. That's where it kills them. And they can't they send me the crush cans already. I don't, I don't <laughs> get credit It doesn't work that way, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So they can't, like, cram a bunch in a flat rate box. But they have to pay for shipping, so yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's the just send me money. Just send you money. Just send me money. Yeah. So, uh, knockoff CPU coolers. No, 1050Ti. No. Yep. Uh, someone says, did I hear Minecraft? Briefly. <laughs> Briefly. Yeah. Uh, I ran a Minecraft server for about two years. I played it for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And that, now my nieces and nephews love it. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like everything else, like, uh, got old. It's fun. It's fun. I, I like playing with the, the shader mods and stuff like that. That was mm. kind of neat. Yep. Um, I, I did some of the computer craft mods. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you can actually could, modify could do, like a processor. You build computers where you and like, them yeah, together. You, you and had like, you know, the binary got, ones and zeros. Got into the, the Lewis scripting as well. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I did some, some things with that. Uh, built some mini computer networks in Minecraft. And um, there was a special thing with that where if you entered a certain command, it would play the first half of Star Wars Episode Four in ASCII format. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like silent film style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Yeah. So. All right, we've been on for quite a while. I think that's uh, I think that's a show. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean... Uh, Unless you guys, what, guys got what, anything what, else. Yeah, I mean, got I any gave demands. Us, I gave spoiler alerts for, I think, three new videos coming yeah. up. Yeah. 
Uh, like plus previous. one I'm recording tomorrow that you guys have no idea about. Yeah, it's gonna be so that, it's gonna be big surprise. Big surprise. Yeah. Even uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's right. Not even I know what it is. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> He's gonna. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I do have some cool stuff coming in uh, over the, over the weekend uh, for some future content as well. So lots of fun stuff. Oh yeah, you did you did kind of mention that you kind of want to do uh, you, you're thinking about doing like a CS:GO. Yeah. Type of a thing. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking about doing a feature video. So just a video on the channel. Uh, me versus Steve in Counter-Strike. Um, <laughs> so look, I, look I, for that I one. Think we should, I think we should open it up to, to, to maybe some Patreon maybe users. Maybe Patreon something. users yeah. if they want to get in on that. Like that would be kind of fun. We'll just, we'll just keep the collective leaderboard and yeah. we'll, we'll record me and Steve here in the studio. Yeah. And we'll, That'd be uh, fun. We'll get the, the patrons on board. I'm, I'm okay with like... Headshotting you with a deagle. That's fine. Come at me, bro. All right. Come at me, bro. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for episode 23 of Talking Heads. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you and good night, Ryan. You said it best. Thank you, guys. Thank you and good night. See ya.